Seeing the three men on trial accused of torturing and killing two teenage boys have been found guilty of first-degree murder. The two teens were found buried in a shallow graves back in 2018. News 13's Jessica Badoan is live at the courthouse with the details. Jessica. Jessica, Stephen Goldman Jr., Julio Almentero, and Jimmy Adkins are charged with having tortured and then murdering two teens during an alleged drug deal. Earlier today, a judge read the jury's final verdict. We find the defendant, Stephen Goldman Jr., guilty of felony murder. Besides the ringleader, Stephen Goldman, the jury also found Jimmy Adkins and Julio Amentero guilty of first-degree murder. The three kidnapped 14-year-old Ahmed Latif and 15-year-old Colin Romero back in December 2018. After police say one of the boys tried to buy a gun off of Goldman to possibly get revenge on Adkins, who was one of Goldman's friends. They took but they posted videos on Snapchat of the boys being beaten in a car, something the defense tries to claim was actually a street initiation ritual, and claim the other people actually killed the boys. The boys' bodies were found buried on the Mesa near Rio Rancho two weeks after they went missing. As the three men were escorted out of the courtroom today, supporters shouted words of encouragement. Pick your head up. No, put our head down. Pick your head up. All three were convicted of two counts of murder, two counts of kidnapping, along with armed robbery. Goldman was 19 at the time of the murders. Witnesses told police he, quote, preyed on young, he, he was a sociopath who preyed on kids. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jessica. Each of the three faces a double life sentences plus 20 years. Their sentencing dates haven't been set yet. You got a lot of different things going on in your mind. And... Um, what I can tell you is I'm, I'm here about Colin and Ahmed, okay? Wait, what was that? I'm here about Colin and Ahmed. Okay, I've heard, heard a little bit about that. Okay, well, um, and like I said, I didn't fly all the way from Albuquerque, you know. My apologies. Also. Also. No, hey, you're here with your sister, right? Yes. Okay, got to visit family. Yeah. And, you know, did you know you had a warrant? No, I didn't, sir. Okay, so you I, didn't know you had that? Warrant. I didn't know I had a warrant, none of that, until they came to me. Until they came to me, and I know the acts of a, of a warrant. I know the acts, and I knew it right off the bat, like, whoa. Right. Like, I... And, yes, sir. Okay, so so that was kind of a I shock. Did, I didn't know nothing. Yeah, it was a shock, like, like, legal, I had no paperwork. Okay. I didn't have nothing stating that I had a warrant. I didn't know what I had a warrant for. I didn't know what was going on with anything. Okay. I was just a blind dog in a cage type stuff. You I guess. So, so you were here on other related. Stuff. I was just on visiting visiting gotcha. terms. Okay. So here's what I got to do. Okay, because the stuff I want to talk to you about, I want to get to your side of it. Okay. That that's all I, I can tell you right now. I'm not going to arrest you for anything other than the warrant that you're arrested on, that you are not gonna pick up another charge today. Yes, sir. Okay, I give you my word on that. Okay. No matter what you tell me today, you're not gonna pick up a charge today. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, but I do gotta advise you of your rights. Okay? okay. Because it's a criminal matter that I'm talking to you about, okay? And you've been, you've been, you've done, no, this is my first incarceration. You, I've never, never been, been I've never been arrested in my life, sir. And I'm 19 years old. That's why it shocked. It shocked me. You feel me? I'm, a, I'm not. I'm not a kid that goes around doing bad harm. I'm not. Right. I don't. I don't do that stuff. You feel me? And it just. Right. Okay. No. Me. Then I guess you were shocked last night. Yeah, I was shocked. I was shocked. I was like, sir, don't yeah. shoot. Like, yep. threw my hands up. Like, sir, would you want me to get on my knees? I don't know what's going That's on. What they told me. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. I was just. Yeah. I was scared for my life. Sure, sure. That makes sense. And marshals, you know, it's it's usually a little knock on the door. No, they came in like, whoa, whoa. Like, welcome to the big time. Yeah, like, whoa, I didn't do that. Like, whoa. That's just our policies. That yes, sir. Have to do with that. Yes, sir. And I wanted to be in the military when I was a kid and stuff, too. So I understand the procedures and I understand all of that. So, I'm going to go over this with you real quick, okay? I said, we are recording this, so um, you do have the right to remain silent. Okay, you know what that means? Okay, what does that mean to you? 
Say it. <laughs> Tell me. Right to remain silent. Just okay. Don't don't talk unless you're talked to unless okay. you're trying to defend yourself. Gotcha. Um, anything to say can will be used against you in court. Okay. Yes, so that means you know, we're recording it. You know, if I say something, I'm just as on the record as you are. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you have the right to talk to a lawyer before we ask you any questions and have him with you during questioning. Okay. Can I have my lawyer? Well, let me, let's okay. finish this, and then yeah. you can make All that right. decision, okay? Um, because I understand that once, if that's what you do, decide to do, then we can't talk about anything. Okay. Okay, because I don't have a lawyer in my back pocket. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to violate your rights. I'm just letting you know that I can't ask you any questions if you choose to do that. Okay. Which means our visit is, is moot. Okay. Um, but you do have that right, okay? I okay. understand that. But but again, I mean, it can't be a, well, I want here, and then, well, tell me why you're here. Nah. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Yes, sir. I'm it's sorry. a give and take. We, we're either going to do this together, or we're not going to do it. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, if you can't afford one, one will be appointed for you before any questions are asked. Now, that could be today. That could be a year from now. Um, no one will ask any other questions until that, that lawyer is appointed to you. Okay. So, I would still be incarcerated yep. that, you're, until that lawyer's on my case until he's on You won't even, here you won't even get a lawyer for your case because it's a warrant out of Albuquerque. Uh -huh. So it's when you go back to Albuquerque and you answer for those charges, that's when they'll appoint you a lawyer. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying I can't talk to you until then. Okay. All right. Um, if you decide to answer any questions now without a lawyer being present, you will still have the right to stop answering that at any time. Which basically means is you and me talk for 30 minutes and all of a sudden you decide you don't want to talk to me anymore. You know, we don't have to be jerks. You just say, you know what, I, I really don't want to talk sir. anymore. I, I, I just don't want no more stress on in my life, sir. This, exactly. I'm, I'm a 19-year-old exactly. kid that came from playing sports, starting quarterback. And that's why we're, that's why we're, that's yes, why sir. I'm here. This, this is a, that, that's why I'm here, is yes, because I, I, right now you're caught up in a bunch of stuff, and I want to do help you do what's best for you. Yes, I appreciate okay? that. Because honestly, um, I, I know a lot, okay? Um, and, and I think that you quite possibly just got to associate yourself with some bad people, and you shouldn't have, and, and you shouldn't have to pay the ultimate price for that. So, I'm here to help you. I can't help you, but you can help yourself. Yes, okay. Sir. So, do you understand that? Yes, that, sir. that you can stop talking to me anytime you want? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions on your rights? No, sir. Okay. But I need you to sign that, and all you're signing is that you understand it. That you're not agreeing to nothing. You're just saying, I do understand these rights. So, if you'll sign there, that, that acknowledges that you understand the rights. Okay. Now, down here, what this is, I want you to read this, and I'll I'll let you read it, and then I'll I'll basically just I'll give you the the short answer. Yes, sir. What this says is that yeah, you want to talk to me today. Okay, without a lawyer being present. You have a choice, you don't have to sign that, at which point I'll leave. Okay, but again, I, I don't live down the street, I'm not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, this will be the one chance we have to talk, and you do have the right to stop talking anytime you want. So, read that. If you but what is there to talk about? Like, I don't even know anything about. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'm stuck in a hole, but like I don't even know to right. sign it or not because if I sign it, I'm technically getting stuck in a hole to say something that I. Oh no, you don't have to say anything that's not true. But no, no, anything that's not true. But right. that's technically how you guys are looking at it. If I sign this, uh huh. I read the rights of my understanding of the rights. Yeah. I'm staying in apartments. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I understand. So this is for I can talk now, but if I still want a lawyer, I still be present. Done. Okay. So if you sign that you want to talk to me, we'll talk until you decide you don't want to talk to me no more. And then you'll just very politely tell me that you don't want to talk anymore and I'll leave. And that can be done at any time. That can be done in five minutes or five hours, whenever you want it. Not me. Whenever you want it. Okay? Alrighty.
And what's that word? Of coercion. Coercion. Did coercion. I talk you into do it? Did I promise you anything? Did I? You said that there wouldn't be no charge at the end of this day. Right. And I mean that. Yes, sir. You yes, mean sir. that. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, this is my first time. You feel so I'm just trying no, to get off the mic. And I like you asking questions Alrighty. because it, it verifies that we're, that we're able. To I just don't want to get it. caught up in nothing that I didn't do. Yeah. That's why I'm triple reading. Seven times reading sure. it, like no, makes sense. absolutely. I haven't touched the Holy Bible in years, and I touched it this morning. Like, there you yeah, go, there you go. Yeah. So, and no, and, and like I said, this ain't TV. You know, I mean, we're not gonna play games, dude. No, this is real life. This is the real deal. Yeah, this is and, and like I said, I'm honestly here for you. Okay, um, and I can sit here and tell you things all day long as long as I don't ask any questions. Okay, but. What I need from you is, 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 are you willing to have a conversation with me until you're not comfortable, is what that basically says. Okay. I'll witness that. Detective here will witness that too. And um, I want you to get detective. Frank, I want you to get, no, just, Frank. just call me Frank, dude. Okay. Like, we're, we're both. Told for that. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> I mean, was, you know, are, is it okay if I call you Stephen? Yeah, go ahead, sir. All right. So, um, basically, in a nutshell, all right, um, I'm not here for the charge that, that you were arrested on, okay? I'm here because um, I'm involved. I, I um, discovered and, and recovered the remains of two people you may or may not know. Um, and that's uh, Colin Romero and Ahmed Latif. Okay, you probably know him um, by, I don't know, uh, I think one one went by CR, and then Ahmed just as Ahmed. But I mean, um, so I'm here because your name's been brought up in the course of an investigation. Okay. Okay. I'm here to give you the opportunity to explain your relationship with them, to explain your relationship, because I know you're not a stupid man. Yes, sir. I, I know that, okay? Yes, sir. I, I, I've, I've been working on this case for a month and a half, okay. being a lot of the detectives. We've talked to a lot of people, okay? Um, uh, we talked to some people who are currently in custody right now. Um, that are friends of yours. Okay. Um, I know that because one's your uncle, even though he's not your uncle. Oh, cool. Um, Aragon, Anthony? No clue. Okay. No clue. That doesn't run in my okay. last name. That doesn't run no, in my name. No, he's not your blood uncle. Okay. okay. He calls you his nephew. All right. Um, but anyways, what I'm here to do is give you the opportunity to put some pieces that I don't have together because I don't believe you're the monster that the news has been trained. I know you watch the news, dude. I know yes, you're sir, I know you're I was scared for my life, sir. Honestly, Absolutely. like I told detectives last night, I was scared for my life. I saw everything on the news. I didn't know what was, like I said, I came from a football star to. Right, where did you play? Albuquerque High. When? When, uh, just last year. Just last year? Yeah, I only need three credits to graduate. I, okay. Like I'm on the play ball. Yeah, I played ball. I played for Coach Garcia, Ron Garcia. Okay. Basketball also. 5A? 5A. Okay. Did you play on the All-Star team? Or, I mean, did nah. you start? Did you nah, I was starting. I was starting shooting guard. Okay. Why did you leave school? Um, I left school because I went down to Freedom. Okay. Why did you go to Freedom for? Um, it was just, I was behind a lot of credits. Okay. I was behind a lot. I was behind like 12 credits. Okay. I worked it all the way down to three in my senior year. So they gave me a nice little pat on my back. I just couldn't finish, pull through all the way. Right. So it just, I kind of gave up on myself, you feel? And that's yeah. the wrong thing to do. Well, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Um, and I'm not being accusatory. Um, facts are facts, okay? I'm not the dope police. Smoke a little bit? Here and there. Any of the harder stuff? No, sir. Never? No, sir. Just, so it's just, just pot, problem. just... Just probably sometimes then in there when I'm very, very stressed. Cause um, I was known for, as a kid, I couldn't like cope my, how do I say it? I couldn't cope my energy. I'm gonna say energy, not my thoughts. I couldn't cope my energy. And like I had a lot of ADHD. 
So when I used to like real get mad or get triggered off, I used to have ADHD and I would have to catch myself. So that's why I did obtain a little pot thing in there. And were you ever on medication for the ADD? No. No? No. Now, one of the, you know why ADD medication works on kids? Because it's a stimulant. You know what's another stimulant? Cocaine. And see, I live by, I live by, no human being should live off of a pill. That's how, that's how I truthfully feel. Okay. No human being should live off of an ADP, ADD pill, ADHD pill. If you're touched in the head, that's probably a little different, you feel, but... Yeah, I feel so. you. I feel you. So, you're a football star. You went to high school. You ran a bad streak of bad luck. I get that. Okay, believe me, I'm not no saint. All right. There's a lot of stuff that's not had in my past that I'm not proud of either. All right. But like you said, you keep going on. You make a mistake and you move on. You have an ADD that that can trigger a lot of different things in people, okay? And, and anybody who doesn't understand that... Maybe but I've never, been, I've never been hospitalized for it. I've never Good. been medically lies. I never went to the doctor. I just knew right. physically myself. You described the symptoms dead on. Yeah. And, and again, you're not, you're not a stupid person. You're That's very stupid. smart. I know just the way you're articulate with me. I can tell that, that you're able to, to describe these symptoms and, and, and put it with a, a proper diagnosis. Yes, sir. I, I get that because you know, you're not one that's just going to say, oh, I am who I am. You're one that's going to try to find out, hey, what, why? You know, why do I have this effect? You yes, know? sir. You, you, you. Um, so there, there's some stuff there that, that explain certain behaviors that maybe other people don't understand and they're, they're trying to put on you. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I don't want to see happen. Okay. Um, now, let me ask you But this. I don't want you to use that as anything to that case because I, I, I still don't know what's going on, sir. No, and I'm, I'm fixing to tell you. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm just letting you know that it, if anything like that, I understand. Now, do you know who Colin Romero is? No, sir. You've never seen him before in your life? Never seen him in my life. What about Ahmed Latif? It doesn't recall. It, it doesn't recall from what their ages that I have saw from on the right. news, right. it doesn't recall, I'm 20, you feel me? There's no yeah. reason for a 20 year old, a 19 year old man about to turn 20, about to be 21 and be a grown ass man into the world to be with kids. But what if, what if you didn't know how old they were? What if you thought they were older? No sir. I mean, so, no, so all the pictures. And we know Albuquerque, that's a place of a lot of, no right. sir, I've never. Who, 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 are you, who are you running with? What do you mean? Who are you claiming, what gang? My family, FOA, it's, okay. it's a family thing, it's called family overall. Okay. It's like a deep, deep, deep thing, family, like my sister has it on her elbow. Okay. So like, it's like the Goldman family thing. It's just a Goldman thing? Or yeah. you got others that are beautiful? Just a Goldman. Okay. So you're not running with like uh, GHC or anybody like that? I'm a sports star. I'm a sports star. Yeah. I never... No, but I, I live by my last name. You feel me? I don't live by a color. I don't live by my skin color. I don't live by blue, black, purple, none of that. I, I live by my last name, Goldman. Tell me some of who your friends are. Some of my friends? Friends, not family. Family? Yeah. That's the only person that I would really okay. be in Albuquerque with is family. I'd wake up to my uh, family every morning, take them to okay. school, have a daily routine with my family, and around 12.30ish, I'd go and take my sister lunch. You know, like a good big brother, you know, there's lunch 12.05 out there to 12.30. Yeah, your sister, the one that's up here, is that Bri Brianna? Yes, that's my oldest. Okay, but, but she's here, she's not in Albuquerque. No, but I'm saying, oh, like in Albuquerque, those yeah. are my daily routine, so but I didn't have... Out there, how do you take the lunches? What are you talking about? Well, you just... You Brianna lives here. Right. Brianna lives I'm here. I'm talking about your relationship in Albuquerque. In Albuquerque, my yeah, little we, sister goes right there to West Mesa. Okay, I walk right across. Your little sister. Um, no, Viana. No, okay. And I walk, I walk right across the street. Blake's is right in front of it. Right. So you feel me? It was no motor vehicle. It was none of that. I also believe I have a suspended license. I don't want no more tickets on top of that either. So yeah. there was no reason to be in a vehicle. You ain't driving. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't see you in the car right now. No, sir. Um, no and, and like I said, I mean, you know, realistically. I love my family, yeah. And I can tell that, you know, and I can tell from people 
that I've talked to about you. You know, that you are very family orientated. Okay. Um, one of the things about family is, is being truthful and being loyal. You know, you know that. Mm-hmm. I don't have to tell you that. Yeah, that's automatically comes with family. Absolutely. Um, what's your definition of loyalty? Of loyalty? Yeah. Someone that would never change their back, turn their back, or say hurtful stuff to me to see me hurt. You feel me? Because I I don't like the other person to thrive to see me hurt for revenge. That's lack of loyalty to me. Loyalty to me is I'm gonna die for you. You're gonna die for me. Right. Type of stuff. You're my family. I'm your family. You feel? Let me me ask you this. Part of that loyalty is about being truthful and standing up. And even when you do wrong, you stand up and tell the truth and not lie. Yes, sir. Okay. I feel that way too. Yes, sir. I mean, you know, when I screw up, I'm going to tell the truth. Tell the okay. truth because you also, you also, you, you exactly. also have that guilty conscience on your shoulder if you ever did do bad. You and, don't want to live with that. No. And it, it's a credibility because when you tell people about your family, you want them to believe you because you're speaking from your heart. But if you are shown to be untruthful, that takes away your credibility, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and even is it better to fall being credible than to lie or to rat out somebody, right? In theory. Can you repeat that? So, like, if I, if I have to tell this gentleman something, okay, even though it may look bad on me, okay, not guilty, but just look bad, because maybe I screwed up something, okay? Maybe I kissed his sister, all right? I'm better to tell him the truth and take my lump, then lie to him because now guess what? You can't trust me. Yeah. Because if I'm gonna lie to him, Lights. I'm gonna lie to you. Yes, sir. Right? Um, and again, I, like I said, I'm not here to trick you. I'm not here to trap you, okay? I'm just here to get some truth. Um, I know for a fact you know Colin and I'm Ed because I've seen the video of you with him, okay? I know that for a well, fact. Video, sir. I, the, the Snapchat video of you with Colin and Ahmed. I know that you have contact with them. I'm not saying you're friends or enemies. I'm just saying I know that you know them. Now, I'm trying to figure out how and what happened to it because I don't believe you are what other people in this world are saying. Sir, I'm innocent. I agree. I, I, and what's your definition of innocent? My definition yeah. of innocent? My definition of innocent is when someone doesn't lie to you mm-hmm. just to save their own ass. Right. Now, what happens if somebody has done that? But then also my definition of innocence is also tell the truth so you don't hurt others around you. Absolutely. That's, that's, my, that's my innocence. Right. So my innocence, I haven't done nothing to hurt anybody around me. Okay. Probably, don't get me wrong. No. I'm my apologies. Something probably would have happened to the marshals last night or something. I apologize. You feel me? I didn't intend to do that. I didn't intend to do anything. You feel me, sir? You've been in sports? Sports. That's it. Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah. It comes with men. Okay. It comes with men. Exactly. Now, are you a bad person because you got into that fight? Um, no. No. Now, is that something that maybe shouldn't have happened? Yeah, I could have done something to change or... We all... We're all in that boat, okay? Yes. Um, What I'm telling you and asking you as a man and as a person that I've grown to know because I do my homework, okay? I don't see you as a bad man, okay? I don't see you as a boy. I see you as a leader. I see you as somebody who wants to stand up right or wrong for anything that's happened, um, but that you reward loyalty and not reward someone who's not loyal to you, okay? In the cases that I work, okay, and I will will let this little bit slip out, okay? I have people that were, are involved with you, that are pointing a lot of fingers and telling a lot of truths. And I, I believe they're lying about their involvement directly 
in order to pull, make you look like a monster. And, 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 and you know, and that's what and Albuquerque, that's why I'm, yeah, that's that's why why Albuquerque did from society, sir. Yeah. You guys did have, like, like I've been innocent since the game. And you guys still put my face out there. Even no, though, wait, wait, wait. okay, look, I'm gonna say society. Yeah. Society put my face out there, yeah. but also Metro Crime Watch is a part of the police department. Not my police department. You're in Bernalillo, right, Central County? There you go. Okay. And you haven't yeah. seen my name on anything, have no, you? Sir. Because I don't play that. Yes, sir, you do your job. And guess what? Is Albuquerque sitting here? No. Nope. Who is? Frank. There you go, bro. Yes, sir. So who's, who's really keeping his word and looking out. God. Well, I'm going to say God. That, I'm going to say I know you're here. I know you're here in present. Don't I you say, believe God brought me here? Yes, sir. I believe God brought us all here for a reason. Absolutely. Amen. And God knows exactly what's happened today, what's happened last week, what's happened 20, 50, 60, 1,000 years ago. God created this earth. Yeah. We can't lie to God. No. It's impossible. Okay. So why should we lie to each other? Should it? Exactly. It's like loyalty. Exactly. And, and I got to be honest with you, brother, the people out there are not being loyal to you. And I don't think that's right. Yes, sir. Okay. What's happened has happened. There's no going back. All we can do is move forward. And how we move forward as men, how we can move forward, how society sees us. Have you seen one negative thing from me about you? No, sir. Have you seen one negative thing about anybody you you associate with? No, sir. No. Now, you've seen it from some posers and freaking Facebook and Snapchat and some little hide behind the ball and talk crap, you know, because yes, they can, because they're anonymous. Yes, sir. Okay, they, they, they don't have my respect. But have you seen anything from me? No, sir. Okay. That's why I'm here in Portland. That's why Albuquerque's not here, okay? Because I'm after the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Maybe you're in chains. Maybe you're in chains for a while, but your heart is here. And how God looks at you and looks at us and what we do, that will set you free, okay? The people that are throwing, throwing stories. I mean, you got to be honest. I got to only accept what I get. I'm not a mind reader. Yes, I'm far from being a mind reader. And that's why I need your help. And because this is your chance to stand up for you. Because I, I accept you as a man versus a boy. When, when the truth comes out because that I can accept yes, sir. and I will testify in court on your behalf for the truth but we can't we, we can't lie to each other like how, we can't be untrue how are you going to know that I'm telling the truth if it's just all only a thought exactly exactly because I have because sir I'm, oh, no. and everyone can say yeah. this I'm innocent oh sure. I'm not innocent and this and that. Everyone says that around sure. the in the pods and this and that. I mean, in reality, sir, I still believe every human being is innocent because absolutely. we could have done something to change anything. Sir, yeah. my problem, I'm innocent because I haven't done nothing to lead up to this. You feel me? Absolutely. It's just all been he say, she said. You're right. And I also do have a question. Am I incarcerated for my warrant? Yes. So that's 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 the only thing you're incarcerated for. That's it. I, Again, this is just let's go back to the recording. This is just questioning, right, sir? This is just questioning. I told you, you will not yes, be charged today with anything. Yes, sir. You have my word. You are here on the warrant. You're going to go back to Albuquerque on the warrant. Okay? Can I tell you what's, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow? No. Can I tell you the sun's going to rise in the east and set in the west? Yeah. Because guess what? That's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Am I 100%? No. Because what does God have to do with it? If God wants to end it tomorrow, he'll end it, right? I don't know. But 99.9% of the time, that sun's going to rise in the east and set in the west, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm giving you my word. I'm walking out today. You are not going to be charged today. Okay. You're going to be extradited to Albuquerque on your current charges, which I'm not related to. Because I didn't charge you with that. I didn't get that warrant for you. You know when Albuquerque will do that? Yep. In fact, somebody from my agency, well, it's not a warrant. So Bernalillo County. Because you know we're fucking region. far. Oh, yeah. We're fucking Dude, far. Dude, I've been on a plane since 6 o'clock. Oh, I, I apologize. apologize. 
Hey, but, I've never been to Oregon. I got a Me neither. It was a visiting vacation. There like, you know. first time ever I've been wanting to live out here my whole life, and I come out here and. And we kick your door down. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. But that kind of gives you the area of, of the seriousness of it. Yeah, the, and, it's real life. It, it, and, and Harris, you, you talk about that. You sound a little. Even without me, even without me knowing I had a warrant, when they came, it changed my life. Of course. It changed everything. Like, and, and you know, I'm like, real. It makes me not even want to smoke. My little grandma pot I smoke. You feel me? It makes me not even want to smoke my little grandma pot I smoke when, like, I don't you, know. You believe in God. I believe in God and the devil, but I don't believe in heaven or hell. Fair enough. God brought us together today. Yes, sir. God brought us to kick down your door today. Yes, sir. You know why? Because he's going to save you. Yes, sir. Okay? Because you're involved in this. And you asked, how do I know if you're lying and telling me the truth? Because here's how it goes. I can prove this, this, and this. You know videotape don't lie. Yes, sir. You know DNA don't lie. You know all that don't lie. So you're telling me no, you got no. a video on me, you have DNA on me? I'm trying to, no, I'm trying to explain, I'm trying to, explain oh, okay. to you. You asked me a question. Yes, sir. How do I know you're telling me the truth? Because if I sit here and I say, hey... Do you know Colin Ahmed and Ahmed? And you say, yes, sir, I do. Great. Why? Because I saw you in a video. So I know you're telling me the truth. Now I say, so tell me about what happened. And you say, bloop, 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 bloop. Why should I accuse you of lying when you've told me the truth and I can back up the truth? I'm only be able to back up the truth with half of what you tell me. And to me, I owe it to you as a human being, as a man, to trust you on the other half until proven otherwise. Yes, sir. And wouldn't I rather believe you, who has given me the track record, that I can show, oh, he's not lying, because guess what? I know this, this, and this, and he told me the truth right away. Fair enough. So the rest must be the truth. So that when he tells me I'm an innocent man, that maybe I did something wrong, and I should have made a better choice, and now I'm going to heal from it, I'm going to do better next time, I can believe you. Why? Because you gave me the stuff you confirmed the stuff that I did know now take that with somebody else who told me shit and all they've done is lie to me guess what I don't believe them yes, sir. because they haven't given me anything that I can verify you give me something I can verify you tell me the truth I have no reason not to doubt you because you're being honest with the other half aren't you and Stephen you're in this you know that, I know that, but I don't think you're, I think you're an innocent man, because I don't think that was your intent. Uh, I'm innocent, sir, I don't know, I don't, I I don't get, know what I get intent, your, I, get I don't your, know what intent you just said, because you just tried to label me saying that I didn't know what your no. intent was. Sir, I had no intent, I'm innocent, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm going by your definition, you gave me of innocence. Yeah, and innocence is... And what, did, and what did I say? Innocence is what drove you to do something. And you're innocent of what drove you to do something. Whatever it is. No. Smoking no. the bud. Uh, walking to your sisters. Whatever you tell me, you're, you're innocent of that. You're not innocent of the action. Then I'm going by what you described, and this is what I got from you. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, no, yes, I am going to correct you. Okay, please. Because your innocence also goes with your actions. Okay. Because I did say that. I okay. did say that. It also does go with your actions and what you do. Okay. It's just not also what you say, right. what you hear. Right. It's this and that. Your innocence is if you're innocent. If you know you're innocent, right. you're innocent. If you know you're guilty, bro, be that man and... Exactly. And choke your and, nuts up real quick, bro. And, and, here, and, here's and, what, and take what you did. And here's what I tell everybody. Everybody I talk to. Don't ever, ever tell me a lie that you did something and you didn't. Yes, sir. I don't believe anybody should take a charge for something. The whole, oh, I'm going to plead to this. Even though I didn't do it, I'm going to take this. No, nah, bullshit. If you yes, didn't sir. do it, you, you didn't do it. Yes, sir. But, and there's that big button there. On the flip side, if you're man enough, then stand up and, and answer for what you did. Because you know what? It may be tough at first. Whatever it is. And I'm not talking about this case. I'm talking about just anything in life. In life. Okay? I'm not going to ask you, because we're on the record, I'm not going to ask you about your charge that you're in here for. Okay? Because I don't want them to be in. But if you did it, you need to go there and say, I did it. And say, here... 
do whatever needs to be done. If you didn't do it, then you need to go there and say you didn't do it. Well, that's okay. what we need to do, sir. Well, I don't know. That's not my case. I'm, I'm just giving you some advice there. Okay. Well, with both of these cases, that's what well, we need to do. And, 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 and here's my just brass nut talking to you. Okay. I know things about you. I know things that I can prove without a shadow of a doubt about you and some of the people you're with. I can. Some of the stuff, honestly, right now I can't. And that's why I'm here to talk to you, to give you the opportunity, because if there are deals going to be made, I'd rather them go to a man than a boy. Yes, sir. If there are deals that are going to be made, if there's a difference between a monster and, so, and someone who just got and caught up, man, yeah. then I would rather it go to someone who's not a monster rather than some boy or somebody else that's running their mouth to try to save their ass. Okay? But if that's all I have, then that's all I got to go with. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and that's why I'm here. Um, so, and, and again, I don't want to come across like I'm telling you, calling you a liar. I'm just, I'm like you. I'm honest. I'm so a lot of people, also, this is what's been since I've came in here. A lot of people do try to pull other innocent people into their cases Absolutely. just to save their own ass. Absolutely. And, sir, that's what I feel like is going on. Because I'm, I'm, I'm innocent, sir. Okay. I, I'm innocent until proven guilty, okay. sir. Well, okay, and, let me ask you this then. And I'm not. Let's, let's start a different way, okay? Let me ask you this. You know all of him calling around, you know, calling on a med. Because you follow social media. I know because I've seen your posts. I've seen, you know, don't disrespect me. No, no. Oh, okay. Because I do do my homework and I am very good at what I do. So I know you follow that. I know you follow the news. I know you follow. I know you all that. Which tells me you also have heard things. You also have heard things secondhand. Oh, he also, said, she said. Absolutely. There's threats getting sent to my family about me. Absolutely. There's threats saying, I'm going to kill your son, this and that, this and that. And you want help with that, right? Yeah, I want help because I'm an innocent okay. man. An innocent man is getting threatened. An innocent man is getting his face put on social media. An innocent man is getting his face blurred out on okay. the news. So and the tell news, me. hold on, sir. The news... Is the news? Okay. Everyone in the damn world sees the news, sir. Absolutely. You guys, they had my face on the news, blurred out. When I'm an innocent man, mm -hmm. I didn't do nothing, sir. I don't. I don't know what you guys are talking about. What do you sir. go by? Me? Yeah. Jay, my middle name. Nah, come on. What's 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 your? What do you go by on Snapchat and all that? Calypso and. Huh? And what else? I know about Calypso and what else? Lipso. Well, and, yeah, that's, the, and, that's what I meant. Yeah, and Sunshine. Sunshine. My football, there you go. That, they used to call me Sunshine. Remember the Titans? You see there the hair? I used to be the quarterback. Like, there you go. So, what do you hear? What do you hear happen to those boys? I've heard a lot of monster, crazy Tell me. activities that were on the news. Okay. I, saw, I saw it all on the news. Um, and you don't have to name names. Yeah, tell yeah, me, yeah. Tell I see it on the news. Give me your opinion of what happened. You're out of it. Outsider looking in. Give me your opinion of what happened. What do you mean? To the two boys. To the two boys. I just saw it. Heard. I just saw it on the news, and I'm getting my face put on for something I didn't do. Why would they put your name out there? Because I'm Calypso. Okay. Why would they say Calypso did these things? Because a lot of people like to pull other people into their... Okay, why would they pull you into it? And I'm, asking, I'm not being sarcastic. Keep real. A lot of why? people don't like you. Don't a lot of people like don't you. like you. No, a lot of people oh. don't like him. A lot of people don't like you. A lot of people don't like me. Okay. A lot of people don't like... We have no answer for that. Fair enough. We have no answer because, like you said, I can't read minds. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know if he's going to save his own ass. Right. I don't know if I'm... Gonna save my own ass. I don't know if you're gonna save your own ass. I don't know. If, you feel me? I got you. At the end of the day, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay. I, I'm well, still I'm innocent, like I keep yeah. saying, sir. And I know you're here for questioning. I'm kind of getting a little urged because. Okay. I'm 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 I'm, I'm innocent. Like okay. I'm, I'm I'm innocent. Sorry, I didn't do nothing. And I know I'm here for the warrant. 
Yeah. I, I know that since you guys picked me up last night. Y'all, that's what's the first words you guys said. Like, that's, that's what you're here for because I actually was the one who filled yeah, out the paper. Yes, sir. It is for the yes, sir. So I don't know what's going on in Albuquerque. I just know it's he say, she say. I know you guys are uh, disturbing my peace. I'm going to say that. Because I disturbed your peace? No, Albu- I'm going to say Albuquerque. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. I just, no, I just want to make sure we're from the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for, we're good. Okay. But you feel like they were disturbing my peace, all of that, for something I'm innocent of, of something I never acted upon, I never knew of, I didn't know none of that, until after I saw it on the news. Okay. I see it on social media, I see it on Metro Crime Watch, I got people texting me. Mr. Gomer, watch when we see you, you feel me? We're going to. No, 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 no. We're going to execute you and do this and that. Why should I be scared for my life for something I didn't do? Okay. I agree. And so I strongly believe that I haven't lied to you once and I feel, I feel like, I, I live, I'm a, I'm a person that lives off vibes. I feel like you're really here to help me. Like you're here to help me. Like not to throw me in a hole, not to let me go rot in prison, not to do any of that. If I wanted to do that, I could. Yes, sir. That's not what I'm about. Yes, sir. And... It's just, I, I don't know, sir. It's my first incarceration, etc. Sure. Being in trouble with the police. I've never been on probation. Right. I just don't know how to feel. I don't know how to act to I, something I'm innocent. I think, you know, and honestly, I think you're handling that very well. I think your maturity is coming out. I, I think you're, you're handling this incarceration temporarily. And like I said, the only reason you're here is because of the warrant. That's what you're under arrest for. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I think you're doing great. Um, I think you're speaking to us. You're, you're acting appropriately. Um, you know, if you say you're innocent, I'm not going to doubt your word. Okay. What I can tell you is I have things that I know for a fact um, that put you together with Colin, that put you together with. Ahmed, that put you together with Fafa, and put you together with other people, and I get that, okay, um, I get loyalty, and I get you don't want to be seen as a rat, and another You can't be a rat if you're innocent. Again, I'm not saying you're not innocent, I'm not saying, what I'm saying is, is I'm here to give you the opportunity to talk to me. Yes, sir. Because you're not going to get another chance. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm asking your opinion. As an innocent man, what do you hear out there? What do you hear? And I know you hear more because we know. No, we what, know. what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, told you, I was telling you what I heard. You tell me. Okay. It was he say, she say of two boys being, two boys gone, two boys missing. Okay. He and she say, to me, that's unfair. Because how do you just pinpoint that one person's name when the detective should have done that? You feel? All the social media, he say, she say, is saying it's me. Mm-hmm. See, and that, I, I know I keep going back to that. I probably keep repeating myself. Right. I just can't get it through my head that I'm still sitting in this pink and blue suit for something or getting questioned for something I'm innocent about and don't know. That happens all the time. I'll tell you what. And, and that's all, all and it's unfair. He can, he can it's unfair. It. Oh no, it's very fair. Here's and let me quantify that. But how is that fair if I'm an innocent it, man? Not you. I'm talking about every person in here. If I've been questioned, I I haven't been locked up, but I've been I've been questioned for things. Okay, he's been questioned for things. If and, if, just, and I have a question also. If you guys really had a deep thought of me being there, why didn't you guys show up and knock on my father's door? That's my question. Down the street? No, my father. My father, Stephen J. Goldman. Yeah. My father. Where we kicked the door in? I thought that was your sister's. Yeah. Why didn't you guys go knock on my father's door in Albuquerque, New Mexico? Because we knew you weren't there. But but still, if you guys had if you guys had this and this and that of me, and you guys had questioning, and I'm a innocent man, and a woman. okay, if I had picked up the phone and called you and said, "Hey, will you come into my office and talk to me?" Would you? Hell yeah! Come on. No, hell yeah. If you would have described it to me, okay. if you would have talked like how we are civil men, like, I'm going to help you out, Stephen. Like, hell yeah, I would have went down there and talked to you. I probably would have. It's my first offense. Little assault. Sit down for a couple months. Sit down for probably a couple years. Probation, you feel me? I watch a lot of 60 days. I watch lockup. I watch 
Everything, you feel? So, hell yeah, I done went down there and talked to you guys because I'm an innocent man of something I never did. What What is the warrant for here that you got picked up on? What's the warrant for? Here? Yeah. What's the I've what's ag the aggravated assault. With the deadly weapon? Yes. There you go. Okay. No, now, when you're, you're <laughs> mature, you're smart, if somebody is accused of using a gun in a crime, not saying you did it, is accused of it, you gonna bring a knife to a gunfight? No. Hell no. So what happens? We gotta kick your door down because you may have the gun that you used in the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon for our safety and your safety. That's why we don't go just knock on people's doors like that. It wasn't you special. Okay, if you had had a ticket for jaywalking, you wouldn't have put a SWAT team on you. But also, okay, but also it's with that, policy. but it's also with that, I was getting yeah. told a little bit last night uh -huh. downtown too with that case. Yeah. With the one you picked me up off yeah. of? I don't know if you could do anything, but you're from Albuquerque. Uh -huh. Why did they I'm still. Rear Rancho. Well, yeah, we're Rancho Santa Yeah. So, why did you guys still like. Issue a warrant without me knowing. I didn't get no documentation. I didn't get no. I didn't. It, the warrant was issued uh, January twentieth. Yeah, I, I, figured, I figured it all out last night. But that was for my suspended license. It's not my case. I don't know. I, I will be. I will give you. So you should know that, right, sir? I can tell you in my jurisdiction, right. that his. I yeah. only speak to mine. Yes, sir. When they issue warrants here, it's all secret. It, it's not allowed to be released at all. Yeah. Okay. They, they do that. Okay, but look, but look, like, even when I was in Albuquerque before I left visiting out here, yeah. mm -hmm. I never got nothing. Nothing. I never got. You're, you mean you're not getting notified that you had a warrant? Is what you're saying? I never got notified I had a warrant. So I never got it in the mail. I never got a call. Right. I never. Here, I can tell you here from my jurisdiction, they don't do that. The reason yeah. why is because the moment they do that, people flee. They go. They run. Yeah. They're gone. So now they don't you do wouldn't do it, but but they don't do that. The same thing there. Like I said, you your door got knocked down. Because you have a, a fucked up. You got a bench warrant for Irish aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Now, when you're arrested, then we know, hey, I wanna talk to you. Bam, I'm in Portland. Okay? That's it. Just like when Anthony got arrested in Vegas. Bam, we went to Vegas. Is Anthony good? That that's uh Fafa's uncle. Oh, the other guy that they're putting their, his face yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, the okay. other guy. Yeah. You know anything about him? Yeah. I don't know, sir. I, okay. I'm a 20-year-old 20, 20 that lives to my family, sir. And, hey, my, I, and I'm not down. I stay home, home, play Battlefield. You feel me? I don't do no harm, nothing. And, and look, straight up, I mean, we're here to help you. Yes. Okay. And I'm here to help you also, sir. I cool. mean, any and way I, I can I, help you. And I want your opinion as to in the, that crowd, because you know who Fafa is, right? Yes, I've heard of him. You've heard of him? You don't hang out with him? Um, I've heard of him. I've heard of him. Um, give me one little bit. <laughs> give me one little bit. I've heard of him. I've seen you guys' as rap videos. What rap videos? All the rap videos with a gun and everything, and you're there, and Fafa's there, and everything like that. Okay, I've seen this stuff. I have this stuff. Let me see if I have maybe. Uh, Look, I'm gonna say I've heard of him. I've heard of him. You hung out with him. You heard him. You get a little smile here. I've heard of him. I've heard of him. I've heard. That's the first crack of a smile I've seen of you. <laughs> That's good to crack a smile. It is absolutely. You know, too, life's too short, man. Yep. Life's just sure too is. short. Let me hold on. Let me see. If I got one to show you that I'm not bullshitting, okay? Like I said, there's stuff I know and there's stuff I don't. And, and I want you to be straight up with me, you know, about the stuff that is the truth. Because is it, is it illegal to know somebody? Is it illegal to know somebody? Yeah. No. It, it, now that you and me met, you call me Frank, I call you Stephen. So now am I going to get my door kicked in because I know you? No. Okay. So... By me, by me saying, hey, you know, Papa, when I know that's your boy, and you guys hang out, and I've got the videos, and i got all that stuff from you, I'm just trying to see if I have it on these. They didn't let me bring some of my other stuff in for security reasons. Um, I 
I don't want to waste any more of your time trying to find this stuff. But, um, I mean, you know, you know him. All right, that's your boy. You guys hung out. We'll leave it at that. I don't want to ask you any more about him. Okay? Can you at least give me that? Did you're you not know? just a, I know who he is. Can you at least give me that, your friend? I know of Fabian. And you hung out together. Here and there. Not saying anything wrong with them, I'm just saying. Here and there. Okay. Here and there. Uh -huh. I really don't know too much of the of the kid, but I've seen right. I've seen him. Okay. Um let me ask you another question then. Yes, sir. We'll get away from that. Who's Dizzy? I don't know. What is Dizzy Graph? That one I don't know. What did I've heard of his name actually. Okay. On December 2nd, documented by the police, by Albuquerque Police Department, you were at an apartment where Dizzy was arrested. Okay. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's Dizzy why I've heard, I've heard of him. That was the first okay. day I've ever met the man. That was Did the first you borrow day. Did his car? No, sir. Not at all? No, sir. Even though I got witnesses that put you in that car? No, sir. I and, and, it, and I'm not saying it's stolen or nothing. I'm just saying, I think Dizzy gave it to you because he's incarcerated. But no, sir, but if he was incarcerated, then insurance registration. Why would I be in the car with no suspended license, sir? I don't care. I don't need no more tickets. I'm not saying you got a ticket. What I'm saying is, is, dude, I have it documented on a government report that you were there when he got arrested. Yeah, that was the first day I've ever and met the man. Who were you with? Who was there at the apartment? My girlfriend, Anastasia. I really don't know. I woke up with Anastasia next to me in the bed. Okay, and who else? Whoever else was there in that room. And who was there? I don't know. Sure you do. I don't. Okay. I do. This is what I'm trying to... But that was the first day... This is the I've met the man. That was the first day I've met the man. Okay. And then... He was arrested. Who else was arrested that day? Do you remember? I think some guy that doesn't have a tooth. Do you remember his name? No. I just don't think he has a tooth. So, so you're right. Okay. But see, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm sorry. I like I say, I stay far. I stay to my all right sports games and girlfriend. Okay. So I know, and this is one of those that I prove, not one I hear by, not a he said, she said. That I know you left in Dizzy's car with his permission. It's not stolen. And I know who was there that went with you, and you guys took Dizzy's car that day. And you've been driving around Dizzy's car that day, the month of December. I, I know that. That is not a he said, she said. That is a fact that I know for a fact, okay? Whether you are physically in operation of the motor vehicle while currently being under a suspended driver's license, I don't know. But you had the keys, and I know who you were with. Because I know who got arrested, and that's stuff that's documented. That's not a he said, she said. I know that you hang out with Fafa because I've seen the videos on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, dude. Okay? I know that's a fact. I'm not saying you did anything bad with him. Okay? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just trying to establish where you and me are honest with each other about the stuff we know so that I can believe you about the stuff that you're innocent about. Is there? And no disrespect, I can't believe you if you lie about something insignificant like knowing who Fafa is, knowing who Anthony is, because they're the ones that know you, okay? A lot I, of people know and they, but a they lot of people. That's how. That's how. A lot of people. That, that's what blows you. my mind. How did they have my? A lot of people consider face. you his family. But, but why did they have my face? What I want to know, society, like the society of Albuquerque, what made them put my face, my face, my face, a kid that doesn't do nothing but like to have fun with his family, and or doesn't, or only lives for his family. I've only, I only live for my family. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Just like if someone says you get someone's name tattooed on you, that means something. That's there for life. Yes, sir. You feel me? Family, you feel me? They're there for life, sir. You feel me? So when? Why are you denying your family? What family? Fafa. The only yeah, family I have. That's not family to me. Okay. The they're, family I have. They're, they're the they're family. You family. But a lot of people say family. Okay. A lot of people say he can say that's your brother. Yeah. You're my uncle. Right. A lot of us can say that. Right. That guard don't know. No. 
Exactly. They don't know. It's not in bloodline. That's not my so, family. Hold yeah. on, hold on, sir. Okay. We don't have the same mother. We don't have the same uncle. We don't have none of that. Right. I know who my family is. It's the Goldmans. It's the Williams. Okay. My auntie who passed away a couple years ago. Right. And my mother's side. So answer me this. Since they are not family. If you knew something, would you tell me? If you knew something about them. Because they're not family. So you have no problem if somebody did something wrong. If somebody hurt somebody. If somebody killed somebody. I would, I would. You would stand up as a man and tell me all you know about them doing that because they're not family. Yeah, damn right. Because I'm going to protect my family and whoever tries to protect my family with me. You feel? I feel. I'm not going to go protect that guilty man. Good. I'm not going to go protect uh, that man, kind of innocent, but he's still in the mix. I'm not going to go protect that one. You feel me? It's not like that. Then tell me. About Anthony, I don't know that man. Tell me about Fafa. I do, so I see him at a party probably. Okay, see him at a party. Um, I woke up one morning. Woke up one morning and they were just in my house. Which house? The apartment. Okay. With Dizzy on Locus. Yeah, um, that, was, that was the first day I really met Diz. Like I know of a little bit of Fafa. Know a little bit kind of too young you feel me like i said that's too young i'm, I'm about to be 21 20 you feel me i'm a grown-ass man you feel right. me why there's no reason to hang there's out. no reason to be with a kid that young you i feel, feel like, i know of the kid i knew some things of the kid you feel me but i didn't know that kid right i don't know him okay i don't know who anthony is okay i don't know nothing. What, do, what do you say that they know who you are and what do you say with them if they're telling me stuff that you are involved in this, are they lying? Yeah, they gotta be. Okay. They gotta be because like I just said. Right. To me, they don't look at me like family either. No matter if you say they call me family. Right. At the end of the day, they're gonna try to save their own ass. True. Me, if I call you family, I'm gonna save all of our asses. It's either we're all going down as one. Right. Or something else is gonna happen to us. I agree. You feel me, sir? To me, that's not family. That was just acquaintances. Right. I'm known of the man. I'm known of him. Woke up one morning with them in my house. You feel? Woke right. up, boom, police there. All of that, the one that gave me my sister. How did they get there, by the way? I'm I just, don't know. I woke up and the fuckers were in my house. See, and that, and now that I believe. Yeah, the fuckers were in my house. Like, they said, Albuquerque Police Department coming in. I'm like, whoa, I'm ass naked. You I just woke up in my drawers. I'm like, whoa, officer. Like, yeah. like you tell me I've never been in trouble. I was scared. I just woke up like. Because I don't. That's the one thing I ain't been able to find out is why they got done in the first place. Go away. To the apartment. I don't know. I, I don't know either. I don't know. That. So I believe you on that part. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't know either. I don't know. And I know a lot. So, yes, sir. You know. Um, no, I just, I, I hate to see, see I just don't want to get in trouble for nothing I didn't do. You feel me, sir? I don't want you to either. And that, that but, brings, um, that, that, that like breaks my heart, kind of, you feel me? I know. Because, and, and, because me, I know I'm innocent. Okay. Whatever that judge thinks, whatever those other people are telling you guys, this and that. Why would they do that? To save their own ass. Do you think they have something to do with it? I don't know. But if they're trying to, your, if, they're, if they're trying to put it on someone, if they're trying to put it on an innocent man yeah. that loves his family and this and that, right? It's a little okay. iffy. Okay. It's a little iffy to me. I'm not going to say they did it. I'm not going to say that they didn't do it. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what a consultant is? No. What is that, sir? Okay. A consultant is like like this gentleman here. Okay. I'm I'm not from Portland. Okay. Well, let's say I need to find out something about Portland. Okay. I don't know. I might go to him as a consultant to give me his opinion of this, that, or this, or that, okay? I'm homicide, okay? Um, he may be sex crimes, okay? So if I need help solving a rape, I would go to him and say, what's your opinion? What do you think? Now, he may know my players. He may have an opinion because he runs in that circle. I don't because I'm homicide. 
that's a consultant. You run with that group. Not saying good, bad, or indifferent. You run with that group. True. I run by myself. I'm a leader. Okay. You lead that group. No, 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 no. See, that's wrong. Because then if you said that I lead that group, that means I'm their family. That means their family. If if, if, if you said that I lead that group, that means they follow behind me. That means I'm a leader to them. So when when you go out on the night for a row, who do you go with? My sister Jada. Just her? Jada. Half of the time it's me and Jada. Okay. What about the other half? Me and Jada sometimes is by my house, by myself. Okay. So you're up on Snap, you're up on Instagram, you're up on Facebook, you're up on all these social medias, you're going to parties, you're doing this, you're doing that, all right? And as a kid. You? No, well, well that was, you feel me, that was, that was you, you before. No, no, but that's what a kid does, you feel me? That's what a teenager does. They go on social media, they go on party, they go and try to do you this business. No, sir, I'm the family. You never have. I've tried it. I've experienced okay. it. All of us have experienced right. it. All of us tried a little booze here and there. All of us tried it all in that. Yeah, you feel? I don't, I don't prefer it. Okay. But you know that, that group. You know those people in that group. I know of them. Fine. I'll take that. I know of them. I know of them. I don't know. So as a consultant, what have you heard? What do you feel? What do you think happened? To my two boys that I dug out of the ground. Honestly, sir, I couldn't answer that for you. Because I can't give you my opinion okay. on something that I wasn't there about. Okay. Of something I don't know of, sir. You feel me? Because I give you my opinion. If I give you my opinion, that must think that I'm thinking it of myself, of how I would have done it. And I, no, no one ever wants to think like that. You're thinking like a monster. True. I'm not a monster. I'm innocent, sir. You feel me? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What if it was your sister that I dug out of that ground? Yes, sir. It would have broke my heart. What if it was my little brother, Tristan? What, what if it was, it was You feel me? It would have broke my heart. It would have broke my heart. But what do you think ought to happen to the people that did that? What was it? If, if I did that, what do you think should happen to those people that put your family in the ground? They would have been incarcerated? For, for what? For murder, right? Yeah, because do you own. feel that? Do you think that's what they should have been, or do you think they ought to be? Wait, what? How do you think that the people, if they put your family in the ground, how should they be punished? Incarcerated. Okay. Because they did an act of putting my family in the ground. Right. They did an act of harming a human being, an innocent Absolutely. human being. Me, I'm not that type of person. That would. Like I think about it, sir. I got a 15 year old sister. I could never do that. I could, I could never do that. I wake up to my sister every morning. I wake up to my little brother that looks like me. I can't, I, I legit sit there and look at people and think like, no, nah, I can't do that. Like what if it hurts their feelings? I'm that type of person. So you're emotional. Yeah, like I'm, I, don't get me wrong, this big six four tall white, you feel me, this tall ass boy, may try to intimidate all of that. No, we all still got that big soft spot, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Over my family, I'm emotional, you feel me? What about others? Are others, you, of course, too. If you're, yeah. if you're innocent, if you didn't do nothing, mm-hmm. just like comment, uh, what's their name? What's their name? Which one? Um, the two boys? The two boys, Colin? Okay, so those two. Right. Um, what was I just saying? Damn, I, I forgot. Know. I was, following I, I, was, I was thinking of his name. I was trying to yeah. think of his name. I forgot. You, you were talking about having empathy. Oh, oh yeah. Feeling. So, on that, sir, that broke my heart. That broke my heart. People putting my face out there. Okay. People doing this and that. People looking at me like a monster. Because in reality, that's not who I am. That's not who I ever was. That's not what I did. Mm-hmm. So, people were putting that on me. So it made me really emotional, you feel? I feel. So just like if they put my family in the hole, everybody else would have been really emotional because there's only real about one person that did that. Right. What do you feel about that one person that would have done that? Do you think if they ought to own up to it? Do you think they ought to just they ride should. a raid? They should. Whoever. How so so let, let, let's quit beating around the bush, all right? Yeah. The people that took Colin and Ahmed's life, do you think they ought to own up to it? 
Do I think they'll own up to it? Do you think they ought to? It all depends on them. I can't. I can't speak for another. Well, speak for what's right. Speak for what's right. I am speaking for it's what's right. It's my voice. I'm speaking for myself. I can't speak for no other man. Okay. I can't speak. I was raised like that. You feel me? I don't put my nose in business where it's not supposed to be. So, like you said, mm-hmm. what's my opinion? I can't say my opinion. I don't have an opinion. That's not my life. I don't know what's his name, the uncle. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I don't know him. Okay. Come wrong. Like I said, sir, I know El Farfa, seen him here and there, but I really don't know the kid. Do you know Flex? No. Nah. No? You know Rico? Rico. Rico sounds real familiar. But nobody you hang with? Nah. Okay. Rico. That is real familiar. We had you sitting there. Do you have anything to throw into yeah. this? Well, I was just thinking, you know, and I just met you. Yes, sir. And, and just so you understand, you did the right thing at the very beginning when we came to deal with you. I honestly am not the type of guy that wanted to bring the SWAT guys to come boot your door or anything like that. I would have rather have called you up and say, hey, come down to Crash and you got a warrant. And I'm right around the corner from well, y'all. But, but here's what I will tell yes, you. Sir. It's policies that are all out of all our hands, right? Mm-hmm. You did the right thing last night or early this morning when you first came out the door and says I'm right here because not only did you come out and say I'm right here you put your hands up and then you said I want to get on my knees my SWAT guys were telling me well that's not typical typical the guys that we deal with they are the worst of the worst right Mm -hmm. you were actually straight up and and forward in regards to what you were doing and what you were trying to accomplish because I didn't want to get my sister hurt I didn't want to get my sister slammed on her face my sister was ass naked last night in the shower right you and, feel and all I all I hear is smoke through the room. Boom, boom, boom. I go and grab my sister. I don't care if you're in the shower or not. I go and grab you. You're my yeah. and older your sister. Was treated very respectfully because she was brought to a van. And she was not brought into uh, you know a patrol car or anything like that. And she was uh, very comfortable as comfortable could be. He, here's what I will say to you. Okay, he's asking you a couple very very minor straightforward questions. This okay. Way. I know there's some concern where you're sitting there going, you know, I don't want to be a person who says, yeah, okay, I know these guys, here's why I know, or a person who's saying, here's what I would do if somebody killed my family, in fact, I would want blood, you know, you're the type of person based on you, in fact, you're a pretty smart guy, I'm listening to you and thinking to myself, there's not too many people that I deal with that are as smart as you, there, there's not, it's very few, um, so ADHD or whatever, you've got something going on up here that's very smart. I will tell you though, but when he's asking you very simple, straightforward questions, and I can tell because I'm watching you, you're kind of shucking him a little bit, okay? He's looking for small little things to say, look, we're asking you questions, we're talking to you. It's because it's, I'm still so shocked to all of this. I get that. I'm still sorry, it's my first time ever being, I understand. like sorry, my heart has been pounding but 110 since you guys came and got me last totally night. Totally understand. Didn't even sleep last night. I haven't ate two chows. Sure. I haven't done nothing. You feel me? Sure. I'm not in the right state of place for myself either. Sure. You feel me? Totally get that. But I understand one thing as well. Like he was saying earlier, he only gets one shot to be able to ask you very simple questions that should be a really straightforward. Uh, and I only have one shot to be honest with this. Person. Exactly. But a couple of those questions were kind of like, as you were kind of like, I don't know him. I don't know him. Uh, yeah, I've heard of it. I mean, you probably know a little bit more than what you're saying. My point, what I'm telling you, is that it's probably really important. Now I just don't want to give myself. I just don't look. He's not asking this. me to give him. I don't want to. I don't want to say I know these men if they're sucking something real bad. But if I know the truth. Yes, I know it's the truth. Then, but I know of them men. I know of them. Don't get me wrong. When I went to a party, when I tried to boo, see their face there and there, I never know them. Like I said, that's it. What's his name, Fafa? I don't know. That's a kid. Right. That's a kid. But when, and again, we're not going to get into the tit for tat. Just like he said. Just like he, and he, so you're getting it from two different versions here, dude. There's stuff I know, and I want to build that credibility with you. But see, you see, and, that, and, and but I, you're I, saying I, that right there, you make me feel like I'm lying to you. But in reality, I'm not, because that's what you think. Because you can yeah. throw me up to that little lie detector test, you can do all of that. That's all 
Do you want one? Bullshit. No, that's bullshit too. Oh, so you don't want it. That's bullshit too because how, how does the machine tell me what I know? How does the machine know? It's the same. It, it measures all kinds of different things. But, but it's bullshit. It's fake. But it's not. But it's bullshit. It's not 99% positive. Right. I agree. But it's a good indicator. It's a good indicator. It's a good like, start. It's, it's, like like a, it's like a good indicator for you when you have these little subtle cues that go on and stuff like that about obvious stuff that I know. But I have no it's reason like, to lie to you when I'm already getting pinpointed for something when I'm an innocent man. No. My face was the first face out there. How does my first? How does my face be the first face out there when I'm innocent? When I'm a I'm gonna stay home with my family. God plays battlefield. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't do it no more, Frank. Like it's starting to irritate me. I'm ir- I'm, I'm. I'm innocent, and I just keep getting these same questions and this and that because you guys think I'm lying and doing this and that. I'm not lying. I'm. I'm. I'm innocent. I don't know what you guys want. You guys want me to answer it how you want me to answer it. I can't. I can't. No, you guys can shake your head. No, this and that. I can't. You're gonna try to ask the question in a different way. Sir, I'm innocent. I don't know what's going on with this case. I'm new to this. I know that I saw my face, this and that. I just want to know what's, 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 what's going on. What's the next step if I'm an innocent man? If you're an innocent man, then you keep telling me that you're innocent. Yes, okay? sir. But what I'm saying is, is don't disrespect yourself and disrespect me by not telling me the truth about the stuff that I do know is the truth. Like... But, but what, have I, what, what have I lied to you about? By your relationship with Anthony. About your relationship But I don't know. I, look, anyone, what, what, anyone can say I know them. Anthony, Anthony, whatever that man is, yeah. he can say I know. You feel me? I don't know other man. I seen on the news report that man's 30 something years old. Mm-hmm. What do I have a relationship to do with that? Just because I know of a man? Right. Just because I know of a man, doesn't mean that. Just because I got you and Fafa together. Yes. And you're saying that, yeah, you've seen him once or twice in a party. And I have videotape of you and him together. That's more than just knowing the man or the boy. Okay? No, that's knowing the man. Like, I know of him. Yeah. I know of him. So the next step, okay... Is this so? It's just like you go to a detective. You 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 go to a detective's uh, ceremony. A detective ceremony. You're standing there to, to detective. You don't know. You still take a picture and shake that man. That means you still know of that man. You know what that man's occupation is. You know what that man is doing. You know possibly how much that man. You know equivalent to what how much that man is getting paid. You know all of that. As a kid. We can stand next to each other and society can look at us like best friends. Mm-hmm. That other man can say we're best friends, regardless this not. Me, I have no reason to build myself around a 15-year-old. Fair. Where is that going to get me in life? Period. Let me ask you if this. I'm a star football player and I love my family, where is Fafa going to get me in life? And I've always thought that since I met the man. Let me ask you this. You ever have a gun? How about have you ever had a gun? Um, I've, I've carried some, but I've never had my own. Personally, I bought myself. Okay, what kind of guns have you had? I've never had one. I've, I've, I've had like friends and stuff. So you've never been in possession of a gun? Yeah, a friend's firearm. Okay. Like, like it wasn't mine. I never owned a firearm in my life. I've, I've never owned a firearm. I've held one. Okay, but it wasn't yours? No, sir. Okay. And this was like three years ago. Gotcha. Three years ago, I was with my aunt. Uh, we went sniper. We we went uh, hunting. We were using the snipers, and that's the only what time I've really been around a gun. Okay. What kind of guns have you been around? Hunting. Just hunting rifles. Hunting. What hunting. kind of calibers? Hunting and just a uh, caliber yeah. rifle. Yeah. I don't know. What about handguns? Handguns. There's a lot in the world. You feel me? My uncle really doesn't keep handguns. He likes to hunt, you feel me? But a lot of people at parties and stuff, they they carry. They carry a lot. And I and when I see that, I get away. I leave. I leave because we all know in Albuquerque, you see a gun in a party, it's going down. Mm-hmm. It's going down where we're from, it's going down. 
I've always left. I've always went back home. I always went and fell back to sleep and played black ops. You feel me? There was no reason to even be out like that in Albuquerque, because I know where I'm from. That's one of the most dangerous states in the world. Like, I'm even scared, scared to step outside sometimes. I'm scared to go to the store sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just crazy how I'm innocent and I'm gonna question for something. I don't. No, and, and you know what, we're almost done. Because, you know, I, I, I've done what I wanted to do. I wanted to give you the opportunity um, and I everything, that, everything that I've asked. No, okay. again, I want you to answer with your honesty. Yes, okay. Sir. And if that's what your honesty is, then don't go back from it. Okay. I'm not judging you. Okay. Um, I'm disappointed. I'll be honest. Okay. Because some of the stuff I've asked you about, it, it, it hasn't been out of accident. It's because I know the truth. Okay. I, I, I know about the weapons that you've been involved with. I know about the ammo that you've been involved with. I know about... The relationship? What do you mean? I, uh, let me finish. Okay, sorry about this. No, no, no. I just... Um, I know about your relationship with people because I've tracked it. I've seen it because we don't walk in here just out of the whim. Yes, sir. So I've seen the relationships as more than just people you know. And it's not an interpretation. It's real. You may not feel something towards them, but the interpretation, okay? I, I know a lot more. Um, I'm not going to be disrespectful to you because it serves, doesn't serve you any purpose for me to accuse you of anything. It doesn't serve us to fight about it, argue. It is what it is. You know, you're either going to tell me the truth and help yourself or you're not. And that's fine. I feel bad because I really like you. And you're still going to put me guilty for something that I never did. If I can prove it, of course, that's my job. But I don't want to. Yes, sir, because there's nothing to prove. Then you have nothing to worry about. I give you the one thing I've done. But I do, though, because, no. sir, I've seen this. I've seen this in life. I've seen this in real TV shows. I've seen... I've seen it. Same TV. <laughs> no, 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 but I've seen it though. You feel like this is real life. This is where they have, have sat in a room, been interrogated, been questioned, and all of this, sir. Yeah. You feel me? You guys are going to say this, this, and that, this, this, and that. But as soon as you guys leave here, it's a whole different story. No. But it is. But it is because you know, everything I've told you today is the truth. And everything I've told you, sir, is the truth. But I know, yeah. I know, I know. Look, admit it. I slipped up. I slipped up a little time. Choked, you feel me? I know of those men, but six, I don't know them. Six months from now, a year from now, okay? I want you and me to see each other no matter where it's at, no matter where our relationship goes from here. And I don't want to have any ill will between each other because I want you to feel to me that I gave you a fair shake. And I want to know that you gave me a fair shake no matter where we go down this road, because I'm gonna, I'm going to know how those two boys died. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna know who did it. Yes, sir. And if I can prove you innocent, I'll be the first one to stand up here to demand you're innocent. Yes, sir. But if I find out you were involved, then I'm the first one to put you away. Yes, sir. And that's not disrespectful. That's, that's what I do. Yes, sir. And I think you should respect that. Just like I would respect anybody, not just you, but anybody involved in this and all the other interviews that I'm doing that if I can prove that they're telling me the truth also I'm going to help them because they're being honest okay if I discover that you are an innocent man I will be the first one to help you out I guess to you but I'm going to be very very disappointed in you if I can prove not what I think but you never I've never in my 25 years of doing this job I've never put anybody else away on what I think. I've put them away on what I can prove. And I've let guilty people walk because I was 99% there. I don't do it unless I'm 100%. And I can back it. And I'm very good at what I do. Yes, sir. He's very good at what he does. Yes, sir. Okay. I want you to just look at yourself inside. Okay? 
and use your skills that you have. You're, you're very smart. You're a very good speaker. I love how you think. I love your beliefs in God. I love your all of that about you, okay? Because you are a leader. But leaders don't just talk the talk. They but I'm a leader that monsters shouldn't follow. Now listen, let me finish. Seriously, I'm, I'm complimenting you, okay? Um, whatever the truth is, the true truth, I'm not saying you're lying to me, but I don't think you're telling me the whole truth. I think we're somewhere in between. Um, I want that truth to come out, and I want it to help you, not help somebody else. Okay. Um, I didn't come in here empty-handed. I know exactly what I needed to talk to you about. Okay. And yes, you were untruthful about some of the stuff because I can prove it. Okay. That doesn't mean you're a liar. I'm just being honest. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, because you deserve honesty from me too. I gave you my word. We're walking out the door now. You're going to be extradited back to Albuquerque on that one charge. When? When by? Now that I'm not quite sure. Because I made me sign some extradition papers last night. Probably two weeks. Two weeks. Two or three. Weeks. It does take a little bit of process, especially oh, here because they're overloaded. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then we have to send, or they have to send somebody out here to get you. And, and so forth. Okay. And am I going by a vehicle, right? Don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's up well, to Pernal, that's up to Pernal County. Okay. 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 Because again, I'm not charging with anything. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm walking out the door. There's not going to be a new. You're not going to get a piece of paper today saying, "Oh, you're charged with two counts of felony capital murder." Okay. You're not going to get that. And that's a scary thing, right there. Isn't those words, scary? those okay. words right there, are scary. Like it just Absolutely. gave me chills on my body because. Absolutely. Because I don't want to be charged with that when I'm, my life's over about something I didn't right? do. You know, and, and I've, I've, like I've it kind of brings tears to my eyes, you feel me? And I know we're men, you feel me? No man's supposed to cry. Well, all men cry, you feel me? I cry all the time. Yeah, but. But look, and, and but that, you want to be real, right? You don't want yeah. to blow smoke up your ass. <coughs> you want me to be real. The real, the reality is if I can prove capital murder, whether it's you, Fafa, Flex, Anthony, any of them, all of them, okay? I'm gonna charge everybody with two counts of capital murder. That's life without, okay? That means 70 years to whoever gets it. No good time, okay? And that's on top of everything else. The person that decides that they wanna, and I'm not implying anything, I'm just being honest, being honest and truthful with you. The one that's going to say, I'm going to man up and take my licks, they're not going to get capital. Yes, sir. Everybody, everybody that's involved with them is going to do time. It's whether they get out in time to have a life and truly repent for their so sins. So regardless, I'm still getting time for something I didn't do? No. But that's what you just said? No. What I said was, is I'm going to charge the people responsible oh, okay. Okay. for their murder. Okay. Okay. I cannot eliminate you today as a suspect. Okay? Doesn't mean I'm gonna charge you. Okay? What I'm gonna say is my investigation continues. Yes, sir. Okay? Today was the opportunity for you to come forth and deal with me at a level that is reasonable. Okay? To take responsibility if you had any actions. Remember, I'm speaking in hypotheticals, I'm not accusing you. If you had something to do with it, then we can work with that capital, okay? And if I had the truth, if I had the whole truth and nothing but so, the truth, so help me God, if I had that today, we would work together, yeah. okay? You still wouldn't walk out with a charge today. Because the first thing I would do is go back to the DA and say, look, here's a man, hypothetically, 100% hypothetically, you know what that means, right? Yes, sir. Okay. You said, here's the truth, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yep, that fits everything I know. He's being honest with me. I can go back to the DA and say, he's more of a witness than he is a suspect. So you know what? We need to work with him, and we need to give him a life because he's truly And what do you look at as me right now? Right now, you're a suspect. I'm a You're a suspect. 
The reason being is because some of the stuff that I've asked you about, you haven't been honest about. It doesn't mean you did anything. You're saying you're innocent. You're innocent until proven guilty. I get that. That's what I live by. But yes, sir, I choked up on someone's answer, but I also did come back and answer him. You did. Properly. Absolutely. So we should have gained all the trust back. Right back. I'm still here. Yes, sir. Okay? I didn't storm out. We it's just my first word. So I'm still trying to cope with all of it. And I'm trying to help you as best as I can, you know, because this is the first time we've talked to. Yeah. So we have our own little idiosyncrasies that we got to work out between us. I get that too, okay? I don't want to keep you in here like on the first 48 for 12 hours straight, okay? I don't have the strength, dude. I'm old, all right? You need to get to eat, all right? I know, I know you're messed up about all this, but you need to eat, okay? You got to keep your strength up, okay? Um, if you need help with and I do my push-ups, I do my exercise, I just don't. Also, I, what, what, what I did want to talk to the CEO about was um, yeah. switching me over to vegetarian. Good call. I like that. Vegetarian, because I like my fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. more than I like my I, meat. I was a vegetarian for a long time, okay, until cancer got me, and then I kind of messed up a little hey, bit. God bless you. Hey, we're, we're getting through it though, but no, I mean, dude, like I said, you you always, just like I have sat here and preached to you about being honest with me, I'm going to sit there and be honest with you. I'm not going to sit there and blow smoke and tell you, no, dude, I think you this, or I think, no, fuck that. I'm being honest. Are you a suspect? Yeah, you are. Okay? If I can prove you're not, absolutely. I'll unlock the key myself. If you want to be a, if there's more to this story that you want to give me to help your situation out? Am I willing to work with you? Absolutely. Okay? If you're not, okay. You know, but at least you're not going to get shortchanged by me and you're not going to get bullshitted. I'm giving you the truth. I'm going to go back to Albuquerque and do your job today and I'm going to do my job, okay? And when I put these videos together, when I put these statements from other people together, if they're lying to me, then I'm going to go after them too. I mean, no one's getting a free ride in all this. Yes, sir. And I, I'm not going to promise you the world. No one's getting a free ride. But they're the people that are going to spend the rest of their natural born life in prison for the, forever. They're not getting out. And then there's people that are going to be able to repent, pay their due to society, and get out and start a family and start a life. Where you're at and all that, that's on you and what you want to do and what you know. I'm not a mind reader, okay? If you're completely innocent, then you don't fear me and there's nothing to fear. I am not the enemy because I'll never put an innocent man in jail, ever. If you're not innocent and you're portraying yourself, that's on you, it's not on me, yeah. okay? If I can prove it, prove it, then I can do what I gotta do. This was the opportunity, and I don't want there any ill will down the road, should we ever encounter each other again, whether it's on the street, whether it's in court, whether it's behind bars, I don't want there any ill will for you coming back and saying, you lied to me, because I'm not lying. And I don't want you to think that this is personal, it's not. I gave you the chance, you either chose to accept it, not accept it, use it, not use it, whatever. It's your choice as a man on, on what we talk about today and where we go with it, okay? I'm only reacting to you because I'm not going to talk to you in the same way I want you to say. That's not right. That's yeah. wrong on my part. Yeah, but the questions that you did ask, I followed up to standards though, right, sir? Like, yeah. What's your relation? What's your relationship with Fafa? What's my relationship with him? Honestly. It's a kid that I know from partying. And you guys I seen him, I seen him at a party, mm -hmm. smoked with him. Okay. This and that. But and and I and you know what? And I apologize for I apologize for keeping it. It's just okay. remember my sir, it's my first rodeo. I don't know how to cope with everything. I don't know how to Let me let me ask you this. How does that make you feel to, to, to come clean like that, dude? Does it feel like A lot better? better. Like I feel like I have nothing on my chest now. Like there's nothing, like there's nothing like there's nothing now. Like there's nothing because I've told right. you everything that I know, every, okay. the truth of everything. So that is there's nothing. So far, far. We've established that relationship, and I believe you. I believe you're telling me the truth about that. 
He's not your bestie, homeboy, hangout. No, but I knew of the not, He's not dating her sister. Have you guys smoked together and hung out? Yeah, you have. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I'm good with that. See, I'm easy. <laughs> okay. But not. But not. But not. Oh, I've seen him at a party. Bullshit. Because I. I, I, I <laughs> but I've just been in between. I physically never been with the man more than over an hour. Okay. What about Anthony? Anthony, I don't know of that man. Okay. And I, the first time I ever saw that man pop up was on the news. Let me ask you this. Straight up. Why would he have your phone number? Why would he have my phone number? Mm-hmm. Because of his nephew. Who's his nephew? You just said it was Fafa. Well, why would he know you? How would Fafa have your number? Fafa. Fafa, because if I'm smoking with Fafa, yeah. we're smoking, right. boom, uh, he would call his uncle. Okay. That's his uncle lives with his mother, I think, or what's his mom's name? You know? No, I don't. I don't know. Do you know who she goes by? No, no. But I guess um, they used to come through my phone. He's fifteen. Never had a phone. And okay. you're like, yeah, call your parents. You feel me? I was that type of person. Okay. If you are going to be around me, you're that type of kid. You, I was raised to check in. Fair enough. Them street lights t- come on and get your ass inside. You feel that's that's how I was. You feel? Right. I was so, the type of person. So you've met. His uncle before? No. You've never met him? I've never met him. Ever? Ever. Okay. So there's no exchange. Any exchange on the phones have been between Fafa and his uncle, not between you and his uncle? No. Okay. So you have no contact at all with Anthony? I have no with Anthony. Okay. No. Hypothetically, if I can prove it, what's your response? What was it? What was that? If I can prove it. Prove what? That you and Anthony have talked many times on the phone. That you guys have a close relationship. If I can prove that, what is your response to that? I'm not talking about what I heard. I'm talking about, like, here's the tape. I would like to see that tape. Okay. Before I even respond to it, you can... Fair enough. I would like to see it because, from what I recall, Mm -hmm. I didn't have a conversation with that man. I I I was probably talking in the background while... Fafa was talking, but everyone does. Everybody, everybody does. does that. Everybody does that. So you feel me? I got you on that one. I don't know that. I man. just want to know what your response would be if I could produce that. Can't tell you until it's in front of my face, sir. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, you know who Flex is? I've 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 heard of him. Do you know his name? No, I don't know his name. I I know it by Flex. Right. Um, let me see. Hold on a second. Let me do something real quick. Based on a, on a hairstyle. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Well, yeah. No, just, no just, just, it is just when I remember you. Yeah. Not to be a dickhead. You feel no. me? I remember the glasses look, and the little yeah. gray hair right here. Of you course. And I remember you. Life. Yeah. You feel me? Some little. <laughs> right. Uh, you yeah. feel me? That's how I remember people. I'm right. more of a visual. Do that. And this ain't nothing. I ain't have you sign nothing. It doesn't just. You tell me. Nah. 
Um, this kind of looks like the man that I seen at a party. What is he? What's his name? I don't know. It, it, it looks like a man that I've seen at a party, though. I've seen him at a party. Right. You don't remember his name? Oh, no, let me think. Okay. I, I, I've seen him at a party, though. I've right. seen him. I've yeah. seen him. I'm, I'm going to keep rolling about that. I've seen him. I don't know who that man is, though. So. Okay. You want to have some fun? Look at that one. Tell me if you make this man that. Woo! That make you smile, huh? That Shit. make you smile. No, nah, that's all. That's all. I just wanted to, that's it. I just wanted to make you smile once. Dude, it sucks, man. That hurts my feelings. You feel me? It breaks my heart. Why? You never wanted to see my face like that. You feel me? Hey. But you know what? I never wanted to be incarcerated for it. We all make mistakes, brother. No, yeah, you feel me? We all make mistakes. If you were a bad guy, I wouldn't waste my time with you. I really but, wouldn't. And, 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 and although I'm here... God and, bless them, man. I, although although I'm, I'm here on bad, bad things, okay, look, straight up, if if I thought you were a bad guy, I wouldn't be here. Yes, sir. Okay, it's a lot easier just to write a piece of paper and I'll say, see you in a year. I'm here because I have done a lot of research on your ass. Yes, sir. I probably know you better than you do, okay? Seriously. And that, I saw a lot of good in that. I saw a lot of good that's been repressed. I saw a lot of good that's been misinterpreted, you know. There's a lot of good in you, and I know it is, okay. Um, and I don't judge anybody for their past. We just, with all this, and I've got boxes and boxes. I couldn't bring it all on the plane. You know, they wouldn't even, they barely let me in here with my damn cell phone. But, but dude, this is your first rodeo, okay? You're gonna hear from people say, don't talk to the cops. Okay? Yeah, a lot of people say that, but, but you what know is what? their input helping me? And where are you getting that advice? Look at the source. Yeah, in me. <laughs> you feel this is my first time ever being, so, I don't ever wanna be dressed in a so suit real, so realistically, I mean, we are the ones that are gonna help you if there's any help to be helped, okay? Um, we know a lot more than you know. We know a lot more than they know, okay? Um, and I will be perfectly honest with you, since you've been honest with me and you've been respectful to me, and I, I, we both appreciate it, and, and I will just be straight up, we have talked to other people involved in this. What was that? We have talked to other people involved yes, in sir. this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you weren't my first interview. Yes, sir. And a lot of the interviews we did were a lot, were very forthcoming. What is that? Um, they were very honest with me about things that I could verify. Not so, saying you're not, and again, not slamming you. I'm just giving you free advice. Okay. Do you have anything else that you want to talk to them about? The, the only thing, if I may add this in. Please, uh, please. You earlier talked about a polygraph. Okay. What's that? A polygraph. Light detector. Light detector. Okay. Have you thought about if truly you're innocent that you would take a polygraph? Well, yes, um, but also, yeah. I, I, I am innocent and I would if I was feeling on it that day. Because just like I said, I don't know if that test is telling the truth, you feel me? Just like they say, they can't use it against you in the court of law, right? No, not in New yeah, Mexico. In New Mexico, they can. Right, I don't because know what they are here, but I know. Yeah, they can't be used uh, in a court of law. Yeah, yeah. you feel also, so. Let me say something real quick, just to make sure we're on the same page. I'm a polygraph examiner. Yes, sir. Okay, so I can answer some of those questions. Here's what I can tell you. I have tested hundreds of people who said, I didn't do what I'm accused of doing. Okay. I'm not talking about all this other stuff that you know in regards to the warrants. I don't care about that. Directly related to these two kids who are deceased. Yes, sir. Okay. People have been asked questions who didn't do what they're accused of doing have passed no problem at all. Okay. People that have information that they're holding back who are directly involved 
obviously have failed those types of questions, okay? I am a polygraph examiner. I can test you. I can test you right in this room, this okay? Is Not a problem at all. You have to be cooperative to take that test, okay? And that test, if you didn't do anything, I want to show that you didn't do anything at all. Absolutely. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But also, like I was going back, I don't believe in that test just like I don't believe in ADHD pills or ADD pills, sir. Okay, you feel me? But here's the difference. There's what I can sit there and say, we both believe in God. Now, my religious beliefs are different than yours. Doesn't mean you're right. Doesn't mean I'm wrong. We're different. Just because you don't believe in the test doesn't mean but then if that's valid. But even if the test still pops something up that's not valid and still saying I'm not I'm guilty to something that I didn't. It's not gonna say you're guilty, that's not what it's, it's but it's gonna say but so no. so what does the polygraph say? It says if I'm telling the truth or not. It's designed to determine whether or not that you have a certain emotional load on that one question. That could be something as simple as, yeah, I know these guys a little bit more than what I'm letting on. Uh, something simple as that or it could be even something as simple as yeah I've seen these two kids who are no longer around I've seen them at a party or something like that that you just didn't want to be honest because you weren't sure how that was going to be taken but with a polygraph when you ask a direct question were you the one who shot shoot stab beat club whatever it is any of these kids well then you can answer that truthfully from your heart right yes sir yes or no yes sir that, that's and if you say no, I didn't, and you're telling the truth, you won't get a false response. Yeah. Okay, because there's no emotion behind it. I've taken them as part of our but job. Also, also, this is where it starts to, the test starts to mess up. It's my first rodeo, you feel? That's even better. But it's not, because when you're under pressure. It is, I'll tell you why it's better. You know why it's better? But, but when you're under pressure, Listen to him. Well, let me explain. Let me explain why. Yeah. The reason why it's better. But you guys are going to tell me it's better, so I can take the test. No, 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 no. You can make a decision what you want to do. I'm just, I'm just telling you from from my experience, my training, what I've done over the years. The reason why it's better is because you have not been conditioned to do all this other crap to show that you know, make it look like you're lying. That's the good news. You are the person who's never taken it before. That means you know exactly nothing about the polygraph to be able to show that you didn't do anything wrong. And you can't manipulate it. Yeah. That, and, and let me let me address one thing you said. Okay, again, we could care less if you take a polygraph or not. Yes, sir. That's your decision. It's just like I'm sitting here. We we had this discussion. You can sit here and lie to me, tell me the truth, or something in between. That's up to you. I'm just here to get that information. And also, I will go through my investigation. Yes, sir. Before you guys leave. Um, how long do you think it would take to get a lawyer or attorney if I did ask? Because I'm just going back on the piece right. of paper. It's just no, absolutely. Me, I do want to know the. You can get a lawyer by walking up to that phone, picking it up, and calling a lawyer. Bam! If you want a public defender, you have to apply for one, and that takes time. And what would be my case right now? You would have to apply in New Mexico because that's where the charges. You have no charges in Oregon. Okay. Right. So when you get back to Albuquerque, that's when you can apply for a public defender based on your income, which you have no income. So you would probably get it, okay, based on, now, my advice to you is to get a lawyer in regards to the warrant, because that's what's going to be addressed immediately because I have no other charges on you, okay? Don't waste a phone call here to get a lawyer because you're not being charged with anything here, okay? Um, and talking about that phone call, I still haven't got a call also. Hey, I just you called your dad this morning. Well, yeah, when I first was incarcerated, incarcerated. And that's your phone call. That's, that's, your, that's, that's how it in this process, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a free phone call, so. In yeah. booking? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so if I went down to my dorm right now, I would have a free call? No, so here, that's with this yeah. system, you would set up an account with your dad, mom, whoever it is, and then you would call them, they would accept a call, and then you would get your phone call. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, like I said, we don't, we're not trying to make you do anything. No, so no. We're here to help you. Because I could have not made this trip. I could have saved my department $1,000 and not come out here, okay? Because basically, you haven't given me anything. Good, bad, or indifferent. I, I'm just saying, you know, um, we talked. You know where I stand. You've probably gotten more out of this 
than I have, other than I got to converse with you, which I appreciate that. And then I, I confirm my own idealistics about who you are as a person, okay? I feel like I know you better now as a person than the kind of person you are. So that has helped me, okay? So I feel good about that. But as far as he, out of the goodness of your heart, is, is offering you a $2,000 polygraph test for free, if you choose to take it, I don't care. It's no skin off me because I have nothing to do with none of this other right. than I'm here in Oregon, right? Yeah. But I get to, when I hear you say that you didn't do this, I want to prove you didn't do this. I don't want to sit there and say, hey, look, he's lying. But that's not the case, okay? You didn't do it, you didn't do it. That's exactly what he said earlier. Yes, sir, I didn't do it. Okay, so do you, do you want to take a polygraph or do you not want to take a polygraph? No, sir, because I still strongly believe I didn't, I didn't do it. And but let me no, ask you. No machine, I, I still believe. Look, so I'm getting emotional right here, you feel me? And that's just emotional because I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I know deep down I'm innocent. Do you know, can I say one thing about emotions? Just one thing, okay? I understand you're getting emotional. I want you to think about the moms of these kids. No, yes, of course. And I never, and I, and I wasn't raised with a mother. I, I never had exactly. a mother in my life. So I know how it is to have right. no mother, but I don't know how it is for a mother to lose it. Who raised you? My father. My right. father is a father. single father of eight. Could you imagine your father? If that's you, why I love if my family so much. Exactly. Yeah, and, and guarantee their mother loves them no matter what, what happened. The same amount as my father loves me. And all she wants is the truth. Yes, sir. And, and, so. and the only thing I could give you is the truth. And that's the only thing that will set you free, man. Yeah. That is the only yeah. thing. And that's the only thing I'm giving you guys is the truth. And, and I don't want anything else. Okay? I don't want no games. I don't want no bullshit. I just want the truth. Me either. I'm tired of being But here's what I'm tired I, of. It. Here's what I can tell you, Stephen. All right, look. I wasn't there when these kids lost their lives. I wasn't either. I'm not asking a question. Just hear me. Hear me. It's don't okay. listen. Seriously, dude. Just hear me. Okay? I wasn't there. Somebody was. Okay? That is eating them alive, and it's going to continue to eat them alive. Yes, sir. Whoever it is. And that's going to affect their family and their family's family. And it's just going to rip everyone apart until the truth comes out. I've got two mothers who bury their sons. Okay. Mothers don't do that. And see, that's what breaks my heart, too. Those mothers are looking at me right now like... I'm a monster. I, I've seen it. I've okay. seen it. They're looking at me like I'm a monster and I didn't do nothing to their poor innocent boys. Like, then here's what you do. There's two ways to fix that. One, you let me do my job. Because I'm going to fix that. Because I will go to the mothers who I talk to every day. Yes, sir. And if I can prove you didn't do it, I will personally go to them and say he didn't do it. Yes, sir. That's one way. Or two... If you know what happened to him, you open your heart and let it out and get it off your chest, no matter what the truth is. That are the only two ways that you're not going to feel emotional, the only two ways that you're going to end the pain and suffering for you, your family, because your family doesn't want you in here. No, I talked to my pop, she was crying to me on the phone. So those are the two ways that this is going to end. Because the third way, you don't want to know what that one is. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah. The third one's the worst one. Yeah. Because and I don't even want to talk about that. Let's we won't, won't even we'll leave that one off the table. Yeah, because that's... Fair enough. We'll leave that one off yes, the table. Sir. Like, I don't even want that in my head because... Right. But that third one does affect the first two. Well, yes, sir. Because All of them affect each other. Because if I can't get one or two, I gotta go with three. But you can't go with three without proving me guilty, right? Right. Yeah, you need your evidence. But if I prove you innocent, I am your evidence. evidence. No, listen, I am your evidence. That's how I feel right now. I am your evidence. Listen, listen, look at me. I'm in the middle of something. Listen, it's hard. Listen, I, I'm in the middle of something I didn't do. Like, listen, look at me. I'm either gonna prove you innocent. Or you can open your heart. 
Or third, is I'm going to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that whoever killed these boys are guilty. Yes. And I'm going to put them away for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Okay? The other two thousand people are going to have a life. Okay? And whoever it is, even if it's not you, take you out of the picture. Hypothetically, let's say it's Billy Bob. And Billy Bob comes to me and frees his heart. He's not going to spend the rest of his life in prison. Everybody else is. Okay? Understand that. Because those are the only three things that can happen in this case. The only three. There is no in between. <laughs> because down the road, when all this is said and done, and you say, you know what, Frank, I want to talk to you. I'm going to say, thank you, but no. Yes, sir. Okay. This is it. Today was it. Yes, sir. Okay. And... I thank you for giving me your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. I wish you the absolute best. And I give you my word. I'm going to do everything I can to prove you innocent. Yes, sir. But I also promise you it's fairness. If I can prove that you did it, that's it. Yes, sir. It's over, Mommy. Okay. It's all over. I'm going to be here in town till tomorrow at noon. Okay? They can get a hold of you right here from the jail? Yeah, all they have to do is uh, get a CO, say, hey, I need to get a hold of Detective Cobb, Gresham, police. And I was wondering, could you guys, like, I don't know if you could, could you, like, possibly give my sister Brianna's number? I don't know if you guys can do that. Her okay. phone. Get her number, so you have a number for her to call? Or for you to call? You yeah, want yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you give me her number, please? I don't have it with me. It's back at my office. Okay. But I think we do have it, yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure. We can. Just so I could have contact with my sister, I have some money on my right. books. Or and 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 I really want you to search your soul, <laughs> okay? Because from noon tomorrow, it's a whole different ball game, okay? I'm gonna be here till noon. You call me at midnight tonight. You get a hold of us and say, Frank, I need to talk to you tonight. Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. I'll come down at midnight tonight. I'll come down at 6 a.m. I'll come down any time I'm in town, and we'll set this right, whichever way it goes. Okay? I'm here for you. Yes, sir. If you change your mind and decide that you want to take a lie detector, I don't like lie detectors because they hurt my cases more than they help because people pass them, and then how can I beat that? I've had guilty people pass lie detectors, and I can't argue against them because they pass a lie detector. Okay, so I'm not a fan, but I trust him. Okay, so if, if he says it's fair and impartial, I believe him wholeheartedly. Your emotions and all that. He can describe it so much better than me because I don't have a lot of experience. You decide you want to take it, call him. And you have actually a, a good advantage because you know me now yes. versus a polygraph examiner who just walks in who doesn't know you at all. So okay. We just use the FBI. And Albuquerque is who we use. So here's just a huge, yeah. huge, yeah. wow! Thank you, God, that He's the one. And he I, didn't, I, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know. Yeah, no clue. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, dude. But I, I can tell you one thing, okay? And I'm not saying to you. I'm saying whoever was involved in this, they're going to be reliving that every day for the rest of their lives and those emotions are going to eat them up. Yeah, whoever did eat it, them up. whoever did it, those two boys are going to pop them. It's going to, it's going to be tough. Look, and I'm, I don't want to shock you, but I just want to give you a little reality of what we're dealing with, okay? All right. This is what I'm dealing with. Oh, shit. Okay. This is what I'm dealing with, my brother. Yes, sir. And I, this is what the mom saw. This is what the mom saw. Okay? This is what I spent Christmas doing. Seeing that changes my whole emotions now because now that I see these boys, it really hurts my feelings how that monster did them. Or was it somebody who just made a bad mistake? It, and what it could anything, have been somebody anything can be fixed, anything can be repaired, anything can be repented for, even this, okay. But dude, it has to start from within. Yeah, 
There isn't a single per person that put on death row or in prison for the rest of their life because I was in Texas before here. There isn't a single person that can't repent from this and live a positive life. Nobody. But it's got to start from them. Yeah. I'd put them away in jail. If they don't want to, then they can sit there and rot. And they will. And then they'll meet their maker. Wherever it is, however they do it. Yeah. I don't know. But this, this can be solved because we can't take this back. No. We can't. This cannot be taken back. No. Whoever did that can't take back what they did. But they can repent for it. And they can, they can look. I also have a question. Even though, even though you're just questioning me and I'm still mm -hmm. innocent, you're technically just giving your evidence sounds like that. Am I right? Because, because I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, but I've heard it. I've heard it, but I've, yeah. I didn't see anything. So you're showing me something that. But I think probably one of those fellow men did, but something possibly. I didn't do. Possibly. But I think you've earned it because of how you've been with us. It just breaks my heart. Like it does. And like I said, I didn't. I didn't even want to bring these out. But honestly, I think you've earned the reality of what we're dealing with because of how you've been with us and because you've been respectful with us. Again, I want to help you. Yes, sir. I wouldn't give my evidence. I want to help you too, sir. I want to. And we want. And we want to help you. Okay, because I got to be honest. I think deep down you know more. What's up? I think deep in your heart you know more. Honestly, sir. Uh, after after I see this, yeah, I don't you know, know nothing. Can I, can I say something about this? Sure. One thing I will tell you, and I I have not seen these mm -hmm. images. This is the first time I've ever seen them because I just got to meet him. In our jurisdiction. This is probably the most amazing condition of bodies that we see. We don't see this, which means that there is a lot of evidence that is gathered from this, from the people who are responsible in this. Yeah. We don't get this here. They're very fortunate. My guess is that they probably already have information uh, from the lab or the lab for DNA. You know how DNA and all that stuff works. That's already in the works. But that means yeah. you have information on me from the lab? Is that what you just said? What I'm saying is if this is my case, okay, all that information is coming in. It takes a little bit of time here and there to get those yes, pieces, but we and don't see this and happening I know like you, this. And I know where you're going with it. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest with you, no, I don't have your DNA. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's but what he kind of but I will. That, yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. Sound was, like, that's what he's. But I will. But how will you if I was going to get a warrant? I was innocent. innocent. No, I'm going to get a warrant for your DNA. Okay. And then I'm going to take your DNA, and then we're going to match it with a DNA. Sample. We were actually already have his DNA. Um, oh. He okay. had. He was drinking some water that we submitted uh, yesterday. This oh, morning. Okay. This morning. So I mean, and again, we're probably letting on more than we should. Yeah. Okay. Because of the rapport that we built together. Okay. Because I do believe a lot of what you're telling me. Yes, sir. Okay. But I think a lot you have in your heart, you're holding back out of loyalty, out of fear, out of your first rodeo, out of what people who probably shouldn't be giving you advice advise you of, and even bad advice from people that you talk to that you trust. Okay. Maybe they're giving you bad advice just given the circumstances. Okay. I don't know. That's for you to decide. Um, but like I said, this is this is where we're at, and, and and in so many cases I've seen this lead to more pictures of people who are involved yes, for the same threats, valid or unvalid. And I don't want to see you or your family members get jammed up. And this is this is you, you were saying earlier. This is your first time being incarcerated. You don't have the experience and understanding that we do that some of these guys who've been in here for years have in regards to how the DNA works, okay? They've come so far nowadays with DNA. If you touch, like that book I just touched right there, my DNA is on there. They will find it, okay? I'm telling you, it is so amazing how far they've come. And I know based on just talking with him, how careful they were with all the evidence they recovered. Yes, sir. It will show up. It will come through. It will either. Yes, sir. I watched the files. Then you know. Then you know. have a little bit more knowledge, and that's how you did. So it is unmistakable. And again, I go back to those two photos. We don't see that here in this area. We really don't. That is uh, prestigious evidence I've, I've seen.
they're very, very fortunate. And, you know, and that's why it breaks my heart. Like, people are living in your monster. Would you want your dad to see you like that? No, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why it breaks my heart. People are, it's all he says, she say, on my face. That ain't he said, she said. That on my face. Lies. No, on my face, it's he say, she say. Oh, really? Yeah, the, of them trying to say that I did it and this and that. All right. That's he say, she say. They have me on the news, sir. Yeah, they have I know. Me on social Absolutely. media. Yes, sir. So, where did your girlfriend work? What? Where did your girlfriend work? Which one? No, that's true. Uh, <laughs> where, <laughs> where, <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna keep it real. Which one? Keep sir? it real. Um, where did Anastasia work? Um, I think she just got a new job at the Outback. Okay. Guess what I found at the burial site? Is it? An Outback apron. What? An apron? With them. Yeah. Okay, but I'm, I'm giving you I'm giving you hints here, all right? We got the Snapchat video. Mm -hmm. We got the Snapchat video that you sent to your ex. Okay, we got it. To what ex? To Anastasia? No, not to Anastasia. Who? We got the Snapchat video, okay? And we, we see... To what ex? I only have three exes in Albuquerque. Well, I can't name names. Only Jamie Michelle Padilla, that's the only ex that I can really think of. No. No, this is another one. But I'm, I can't say because i got to protect people too. All right. Fair. Um, Even though I know you're bullshitting me right now. I just I just felt the whole vibe, okay. sir. Sir, I just felt your whole vibe, sir. I live by vibes, sir. Sir, you feel me? You just yeah. bullshitted the dog shit out of me right there, sir. And you were just, the just speaking... What the video? The video of, of the boy getting pistol with by Fa Fa. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Okay. I'm just saying, we got the video, and it shows you and Fa Fa together. When they were, not when they were killed, okay? I, I'll give you that. We don't have video of that. Uh, straight up. But we got a video of you guys beating them, okay? We, we know that. It's on video. We got it from Snapchat on the search warrant. Everyone says that, though. That y'all have been saying that. 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 If you guys had a video with full evidence of me there, you guys would already been on my dad's door. Why? You guys would have already charged me. For what? You have evidence. You have evidence of me. You would have already charged me. With what? For whatever you guys are trying to charge that monster with, uh, with no. this case. Yes, yes, you guys would have already charged me. We, we don't have enough evidence to charge you with murder. That's why I'm here. Yes, sir. To help you before we charge you with murder. But charge me for something I didn't do. Okay, that's what I gotta prove. We're going around in circles, man. You're confusing me. You're like, no. Like, I'm just, well, let me, let me kind of let me pull it, Yeah. What, what he's saying is he's giving you a little bit more information about this case than he probably should, but he is doing it. And I'm catching on. And I don't even know a lot about this case, but here's what I did catch on. I caught on that he gave out that there was an apron from Outback Steakhouse that your girlfriend worked as. Guess what is going to be on that Outback Steakhouse apron? Is that right? DNA that we just talked about, it will absolutely solidify that. If that was found where he's saying it is, it's going to have her DNA on it. And I guarantee you, she's going to stand up and say, I didn't do this. And it's going to connect back. Okay. Yeah. Without a doubt. Now, yeah, back to the video. But also, but back also, to, now, listen, back to the video that I was talking about because everybody knows about the video. It's on Seven, it's on the internet, it's on everybody talks about this video, right? I know because we got it, and we know who you sent it to, and it doesn't show you guys killing them. I know that. I'm not saying you did. What I'm saying is it shows you guys with them, okay? And we have other people to talk to, and then at the very least, at the very least, you're going to look at a battery on that, or a kidnapping, or something, I don't know. But a kidnapping in, Nevada, in New Mexico's life, right? Not necessarily. Because in the state of California it is. No, it's not life. No. The only thing that, the only thing that's life is capital murder. Okay. But it also enhances the penalty but when you're not kidnap telling the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. But kid, you kidnapping is 30 years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When you don't tell the truth about it, yeah, that yeah, I'm just wondering. I just yeah, have no, a lot of questions. No. So, I, mean, I wish I had one of you guys like books or something. So <laughs> and, 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 and again, you know, 
maybe I'm maybe I'm too tired. Maybe I've been on, I've been up for two days. Yes, sir. Because I'm passionate about my job. I've maybe, been up for a day. Maybe I'm just, almost two. Yeah. Maybe I'm just giving too much out. But honestly, dude, I like you. <laughs> I don't want to like you, Stephen. I don't want to. But me I person, do. Me personally, I would have walked out on you already. He honestly seemed more passionate than I do in regards to this I, I, because he knows deep down. I'm telling the truth about. All the stuff I'm saying, he knows deep down that I'm telling the truth. Like I told him, don't get me wrong, I did slip up. You feel me? It's my first rodeo, but I still came and told you the truth. Then all I want you to do is this. All I want you to do is this when we leave. I said, you've got a little bit less than 24 hours because I'm on on a flight tomorrow at noon. Okay. All I'm asking you is this. Think about it tonight. Think about what I've told you. Okay. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm telling you what we have. Okay? He's not bullshitting you. He's telling you what they have. Okay? I've given you way too much in hope that if I'm wrong, don't tell me yes or no. Don't don't answer me. It's not a question. Just think about it inside. If Frank... Frank told me that they have a video, they have this, they have this, they have this. If you say in your heart, shit... Yeah, I, he does have that. That's where your answer, what we need to talk about before I leave, okay? And if you can honestly sit there with yourself and say, he can't have a video because one doesn't exist, then dude, we'll see you in two weeks in Albuquerque because I'm, there's not going to be any charges because I'm not going to hang you for something that I can't prove. Yeah. That's what you need to go back to yourself and think about tonight. Because if you if you say I could have it, I have it. I'm not bullshitting. And if I, those are the things I told you I have, can you imagine what I have that I haven't told you? Yes, sir. Look at yourself in your heart tonight. And then if you need me, reach out. I'm here till noon tomorrow. Okay? Um, but without being dramatic, it expires at noon tomorrow, at high noon, because mm-hmm. I'm on a plane. And we won't talk in Albuquerque. Really go back. Can you just try to get my eyes back to Albuquerque? Like as soon as yeah. you guys can. And, and just, and, just so I and here's, sir, I don't like being incarcerated. You feel me? Here's the. This absolute, is my first time ever being incarcerated. Dude, I've ever. It's Sandoval County. The warrants out of Bernalillo County. I have zero control. But I will make a call to see if we can not speed it Thank up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. That. I just I can't make any promises because it's a total different jurisdiction than us. Okay, I'm not out here for that. Okay, and you're only going to be charged for that, so you're not going to pick up any additional charges. Just don't go get in a fight or nothing. Don't do something stupid while you're in here and make him hold you. I kind of don't like this place. I, I, I don't like it. I know. I, know. Like, yeah. like, I like downtown better. Like, I don't feel like, how do I say it, more safe? Yep. Yeah. I'm only going to mention you're in the door here. Yeah, I'm only going to mention you're okay. Did you feel me? Yeah. Uh, but I really want you to go. I'm keeping it up. People tell me, go on suicide watch, do this. I can't do that to myself. You know? I can't be restrained in a chair. I'm one of those type of person. If I'm restrained, I'll start getting claustrophobic. That's when I start tripping out if I can't move. I, I can't do that. You feel? Let me. I'm, I'm scared for my life about something I didn't do. Well, I will mention that to the CEOs, okay? Listen to me, though, okay? You're smart, you're an intelligent young man. And I see a future for you. And I don't want to sound arrogant and conceited, okay? But you can't beat us. You, you sure. can't beat us. You can I, never beat the law. The law you, always. You can't, you can't beat. We got. Right. We we're talking only over here. This is just 50 years of experience. I can't tell you how many years is on this case and how many jurisdictions, how many cops. We've been to Vegas. We've been to Atlanta. We've been to Portland. We've been all over on this case. This is a no hold mark, okay? The truth says it set you free. Okay. Honestly, is it going to set you free tomorrow? No. But it will set you free to have a life. Think about it. And if anything I've said today is the truth, don't answer me. If anything I've said today is the truth that you know, really think about talking to me before I leave. Yes, sir. About everything. One of the things that I didn't do and I didn't give you an opportunity to even respond to it. We talked about the DNA. Would there be any reason why your DNA would be connected in that? Any reason at all? Into that case? 
No, sir. Think, think about it real no, carefully. Sir. Cause My, you know it's there, the only it's there. Thing that, The only thing that I could think of if nothing. Well, think, think about it. You were thinking about something. Nothing, because I, was thinking, your mind. because I was thinking, if I hung, hang out with Fafa and this and that, I don't know if that, what that man has done, you feel me? I don't know what he's done behind closed doors or without me there. I don't know what's his name. Oh, okay, which one? Um, his relative, his uncle, and Anthony. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that man does. You feel me? I don't either. I don't know either. What he's asking you though is, why would your DNA be had nothing to do with my case? Right. Why would your DNA be on anything? Clothing we recovered at the scene. Dizzy's car that didn't burn all the way. Um, see, here we go again. I'm tired. Um, so we didn't talk about that. But, I mean, all this stuff, why would your DNA be on any of it? Because we're testing everything. Okay, I'm just... I'm okay, done. So no, no, don't answer. No, don't answer. answer. Uh, if they were... Yeah. If they were ever present in that vehicle... I haven't been in that vehicle, remember? Dizzy no, I haven't. You told me you didn't know Dizzy. You told me no, you didn't no, know remember he woke up. Vehicle. He woke up to my. He. I woke up that morning with right. him in my house. Right. All I knew is that he had a vehicle. Right. What did you do with the vehicle? I didn't do anything. Then why would your I, DNA I be in it? I didn't have his keys. None of that. Then why would your DNA be in it? There wouldn't be. You just said if it wasn't, it's because you've been in the vehicle. Right. You just so when were you in the vehicle? vehicle. Oh, like like if Fafa has been in the vehicle. No, you. Not, no, don't worry. No, 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 no. I'm saying that's the only way. That's the only way that I could be in the vehicle because I've I've smoked with Fafa. Okay, I've done did a lot. Smoke, did you smoke with Fafa in that vehicle? No, sir. I then why would your DNA be in there? Because I was with Fafa. Okay, think about it. This is my first rodeo. No, no, I don't know no, what. Unless you had sex with Fafa, your DNA is not going to be on him. Okay, see, and I didn't know that. Yeah. So no, that's why I'm explaining. Okay. It, but even if I shook his hand, don't. But you just said. If no. any of us touch those men's no. body, the first if, if I touch this, yes, sir. If you touch that, my DNA is on there. If I touch his hand and then he touches that, his DNA is going to be on there, not mine. You can't have secondary transfer. Like it's that. direct contact. Oh, okay. Now, see, yeah. I was thinking yeah. of a different. Oh no, I that's why. D, that's why DNA. I apologize. One hundred percent. See, and I was confused. Right. It kind of sounded like we're, I was stepping a hole. No, we're here right. to educate. Too. Yes, sir. I was really confused yeah. right there. So let's go back to what, what we were saying, though. They're going to test everything. Yes, sir. It's either going to be there or it's not going to be there. If yeah. it's there, my question was. How did it get there? Is there something like the car? You almost don't remember like you were in, in that car at one point in time. Well, if you were, no big deal. Just tell us what you remember. You no, I, I was never in that car, but okay. I, I was just so, thinking that that could be the only way my okay. thing could be in the car. Okay, let's take the car out of it. Okay. How about, I have nothing. How about, well, how about the two kids? I have nothing. How about their clothing? I have nothing. I never touched their clothing. I never. Okay, because you know what we just talked about. Even if you just went like that, it's it's there. It's yes, sir. Now it's there. Now now it's understandable. Yeah, if I barely, my I, my, I will I will give you another example. You can watch forensic files on this. If you take a bullet, if you take a bullet, and you touch the tip of it when you're loading it, right, yes, and then you shoot somebody with it, and we recover that bullet, it's going to have that person's DNA on it. Just from that touch. Okay. Okay. Because the explosion doesn't touch, the fire doesn't burn the DNA off because the projectiles in the front. You see okay. what I'm saying? So when we send the projectiles to the lab, they're going to be able to test that DNA. Okay. Okay. Again, is there any reason your DNA would be on a projectile for the boys? No, no sir. Then you have zero to worry about. Okay, yeah, I was confused. Okay, no, that's why we're explaining me, sir. Yeah, I apologize. You kind of high class. He kind of breaks it down for me, kind of. Yeah. You called? You just called me high class. So the car. You're telling me you've never been in the car. No, sir. I know for a fact you have. I know that, okay? You say there's no way for that DNA to be in there. When we get the swabs back on the car and your DNA's in the car, okay? Because it didn't burn completely, I let it out. But then how are you gonna explain that? Because you can't use secondary transfer. Is there any reason? Because that's going to be the big question later on. And again, it goes back to 
You said there was no reason for your DNA to be in there. We found the DNA. You said there's no DNA to be on the clothes. We found your DNA. You say you didn't kill the kids. Why should we believe you? Because we already proved you're a liar here. Okay. You, you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. I'm trying to keep you up. Pattern of truthfulness is what gains credibility. You can tell me, and, and I won't tell you how to beat the system, but if you tell me the truth on nine different things that I can prove, you can lie about the tenth. I'm probably going to believe you. Without question. Okay? Because you built that track record. Okay. Now, a real honest person would give me ten out of ten. Okay. Then that's what I. Right. That's what I feel like I gave you. Is do you know why people do life in prison? No. Because they sit there and say it wasn't me. No, not pointing fingers, but they sit there and say it's not me. Uh, how did your DNA get here? How did your fingerprint get here? How? Why is this person saying that? You know. They were pregnant with your baby, and you're saying that I never knew them. You see what I'm saying? That's why, because then a jury looks at that and goes, wow, he's just a liar, so he must be lying about being innocent. Because he lied about this. Okay. Okay. The truth will set you free. If anything that we have said today, tonight, rings a bell with you, and you sit there and say, shit, he's got the video. Believe me, I got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You did your job, and, but I don't know. And if you don't, if you don't, and if you honestly inside don't have a clue what I'm talking about, then don't. There's nothing for you to worry about. I promise you. I promise you. Okay. But I have the video. Okay. okay. If there's no way your DNA is going to be on their clothing, then don't worry about it. But I have DNA on the clothing. I'm not saying it's yours because I haven't gotten your DNA yet. We haven't ran it yet, but we're going to. So I'm not accusing you, yes or no, because I don't know. It may not be on there. Cool, you're telling me the truth. Backs up your story, right? But if your DNA is there, yeah. Okay. We go to Fafa, Flex, Dizzy, all these guys, Anthony, and they say, Shh, Calypso's my homeboy. Oh, we went here and here. Look at this video. Look at this. Oh, look at this text. Oh, yeah, we used to pull ribs. Yeah, we used to buy weed. We used to do coke. We used to do da 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 da. And you're going, oh, I don't know. They're not family. And I got video of because parties. They're, I got they're video not family. Of, they're not family. They're acquaintances. Listen, remember. Listen, that, that's the key word. That's the key I word. Is acquaintances. So I can we stop saying family? Their interpretation, not yours. Yeah. Okay. Their interpretation. Okay. And I got 10 saying this and you saying this. And I got video to prove what they're saying is true or at least interpret it that way. You see what I'm saying? It starts stacking up against you. And then pretty soon I can't be your advocate. Because then my feelings get hurt because you're lying to me. Yeah. Okay? And then I can't help you. And then nobody can help you. And who's going to take the ride? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's this whole fallacy about loyalty and being a rat. You know what? There is no rats. There is no rat. It's just the truth. Just the truth. And many, many, many people have moved on with their life by being truthful. Okay? I don't know a single one in 25 years that have ever made a life for themselves by staying loyal. Because you know what? There's five of them going to rat them out. They're going to. Mm-hmm. Because they're going to realize the truth shall set you free. And they're going to tell the truth. And not only are they going to tell the truth, but they're going to say, here's why we're telling the truth. Here's the proof. I'm telling you the truth about Calypso. And here's the, the video, the DNA, the fingerprints the, to back it up. Here, take it, detective. Just cut me a deal. Okay. I'd rather do that with you than give it to somebody who I truly feel is a monster. I don't feel you're a monster. I got a question also. Yeah. After we're done with all of this, I don't know, probably make me feel a little better. Sure. Can I just like have contact with my father? Absolutely. Just have a call, just one one call. That's all I, I don't have a problem with. That's, that's, that's all I ask, yeah, detective. I, I, just one call, please. Yeah, that won't that won't be a problem at all to to work out. Okay. okay. Let, me, let me ask you this question. Okay. And just be straight up honest. You want to call your dad? Yeah. 
do you want us to wait around until after that call is done? Um, or does it not really matter? Is it, it not really? It really, it really doesn't matter. You feel me? Because I'm like, I'm not, I feel you. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, because you I'm guys, gonna, it's going to be video recorded or recorded and all of that. So you guys are going to hear what I say. Period. You know what you, you know what you're going to say? I, what? I here's what I believe you're going to say. I, you're going to not say. You're going to ask your dad his advice. Okay, that would be my guess. Is what you're going to do is, Dad. I was going to tell I, my dad. This is what I was going to tell my father. Good. Hey father, just know I love you, you feel me? And there's yeah. there's people against me out there trying to get me, you feel me? Dad, we've seen my face all over the news, this and that. You've seen my face. We know I'm innocent. I was with you that morning. You feel I woke up on your couch that morning. Father, you feel me? Yeah. Just know your son loves you, you feel me? Just know your son that's loves a call, you. That's a call you can make anytime. But 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 it's not because I'm not from I'm not from a family that has money. Listen. I'm from a family that's Dirt broke. Hey, poor. You feel me, Stephen? Uh, I'm from. I'm from. If I was hungry, I had to go get my own food, Stephen. And that's Albuquerque. Yeah, we know that. that is. You know, know that. That's Albuquerque. Listen, you make that phone call, and you talk to your dad about whatever you want to talk to your dad about. Okay, you do it. Absolutely, I encourage you. You talk to whoever you need. It's just one person that knows the truth in this room. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Okay. There's one. There's two people in here that want to help you. Either which way that truth is, and that's us. Okay. There's not a wall. We're not Trump. Look, dude. We're right here. If you're innocent, we ain't got a problem with that. If you want help, we're here to help. If if. We're willing to put the whole past two hours behind us and start fresh if you're being untruthful. I'm not saying you are or you're not. You are the one that knows. I'm just trying to do what's best for you. If you want us to, if you want to call your dad, if you want to call whoever you want to call. And I just want to call him. Tell him you love him. I right. love him because, sir, I don't want to be convicted of something I didn't do. Like, don't get wrong, sir, you start to do your work. Absolutely. There's still time and all of that. It's just really... Really gets a man that I'm really in. I'm really I, sitting here getting questioned for something I didn't do. You feel me? I sir? promise you. Have I lied to you? No, sir. I promise you, you will not do a day in jail for something you didn't do. Yes, sir. Um, for me. Okay, I can't answer that out of the Okay, I can't. For me, you will not do a day in jail for something that I don't believe you did and can prove. And I am not this, in, in a circumstance. No way. Keep it with me. Do you believe I did this? You want to be honest? Yes. I believe you had a part in it. And I don't know what part. I don't know what part. Just because I know people, sir? No. No. Is, is, that, is that why? No. Or? It's because of the evidence that I have up to this point. But... I, do but I you mean, just said personally you have no evidence on me, sir, besides... No. Besides, no, you just told me that about five minutes I ago. I don't have evidence have... that you killed them, okay? Understand the difference. Do I... What did I say? Do I have evidence that you were involved? Yes, I do. I just told you I have a video of you with the boys being beaten. But say. everyone's saying that. Everyone's saying and that. And I have the video. But you can say that because it's... Okay. But, sir, look... My question is, mm -hmm. how do you have a fucking video when I did not take a fucking video? Then, if that's when, the case... Hold on, sir. How do you have a video when I was not there when this monster did his acts? How do you have a video that has me in someone else's car when I was never present to attend that? So, hold on, sir. How do you have a video... To say that I was there, or what did you say? That I had part of it? That you were involved in it. That I was involved in it? Mm -hmm. How do you have that with nothing on me but he say, she say, sir? And just questioning. And just questioning, sir. So how do you have, how do you have nothing on me but just he say, she say? But I do. But what do you have? The video. The video, well, can I see that video? It, uh, I can't bring it in here. They wouldn't let me bring it in here. I would have. Okay, well, look, tomorrow, well, tomorrow, look, this is what I'm asking. Okay, I'm going to give you a call. I, I can't bring the video in here. I'm not allowed to bring it in here, okay? Because I think it's bullshit. 
then and I'm going to tell you that that you're trying to get me for something that I'm okay. innocent of. And sorry to disrespect no, you. No, I don't think it's just my my my. my didn't I just? Didn't no, I just no, like we were on a good vibe, though. Yeah, you we were on a good term. I just don't want to look. look flip didn't, the I just, around. didn't I just tell you to look within yourself? And yes, sir. If no video exists, then you got nothing to worry about. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if I have a video that exists, but look, sir, if someone told you I have a video no, of not, me raping this woman, right? Wouldn't you sit down deep and thought, like, hold on, what there's no video? video, like, there's no video, like, hold on. But what if, like. Boom. Right. Boom. There's no video. There's no video. Okay. Then you don't have nothing to worry about. Then the video I have is either manufactured. And sir, you said that I sent it to my ex-girlfriend. My girlfriend right now. Which one? <sighs> Shit. Right. But I, I don't even know what date those kids were. Okay. I don't know anything. Then you don't need to worry about it. But I, I do know, sir. No, you don't. Because, because my name's in it, so I do have to worry. But you don't have to worry about it if you did nothing wrong. I don't have to, but I still got to worry that there's something on my ass because my name is in something that I did not do, attend, or do in a violent act of crime. Then why would I have this stuff? Because that's what a DA says. Because what a DA? I'm not a DA. I'm a cop. Well, that's what a police officer says. Because we lie. No, I never said that. No, I'm just, but the, that's no. But you guys try to work your way around it. But I'm not. There's no way. I have nothing else to say. Sorry. But you back it up. I have nothing else to say. Okay, fair enough, Stephen. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, no, this is no. Okay, sir. I'm not taking. I'm, I'm just not 19 year old. I don't know what to do. No worries about it. something I'm innocent. I just have nothing look, else to say, sir. You all were overwhelming me. You're stressing me out. I get that. I don't know. Look. You, and you still got it on trying to... Well, no, this is to protect you, so they can't say that I didn't say anything off the recorder, okay? Yes, sir. You have... I saw I, 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 Marshall Marvis, I've never been incarcerated in my life, bro. They Steven, be, listen to me, so we, so we can let you have your peace. You know where we're at. You know how to get a hold of me. You know when I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't have any. I'm going to give you a number before we're done. Okay. Yeah. Um, think about it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to railroad you. I'm just not what I'm here for. I'm here to give you the opportunity. That's all. Yes, sir. Okay? Ooh, I, you know, I'm being as truthful, you know, as you say you're being truthful with me. I'm being truthful with you, too. And no bullshit. Okay? I have what I have. I have more than what I have. If that doesn't fit you, your truth, then it's not true. Yes, sir. Okay? I, I mean, seriously then I won't hear from you. But if you have it in your heart, talk to your dad, tell him you love him, talk to your family, tell him you love him. Okay? And then if you still want to talk to me, I'm here. So, fair enough? Okay, I'm going to stop recording now. All right. Okay.